wife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How are you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little, this little kid, this, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Come on. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Your mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof, fly down one of those choppers. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteers for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Shit. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. Why you got room for two of you? We're over! Wait, okay? I can only take two of you. Two! Come on, help me. Come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been to worse shit than this before. You know? Here we go. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> Shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez. What happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers?
Hold up, hold up. He laid his bike down. Cover me right behind you. Search him. Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know about that. She was right still now. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste a pull it, not on her. Oh, hold on for a second, hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood from all the way down there. What do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Keep alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait. All right, all right, no, no. I got it right here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said. Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it. You goddamn liar. Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guess that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shout out my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look. Let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. Why don't we just get it while we're out here? What? Well, uh, Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? Map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah, okay. So, tomorrow. Get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. Saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! <laughs> Uh, 
Shotgun, I'll walk point. <sighs> Shit, how you wanna do this? Let me your shotgun, I'll walk point. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Hey, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. Sounds like you got your wish. Shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You wanted a freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. You just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How you stick in something? Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep, hot, rippers, rippers! No, 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 no! Oh. Ah, shit! Rippers. Boozer. Boozer, man. God damn it. Dead oh, symbols of the dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. <laughs> These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! Son of a bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you. We will show you. You are not one of the found! You are the lost! The path. You are lost! Get low! Get low! Get low. Bitch. Ah, these 
Tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. <laughs> Sons of bitches, get off them! Ah! Loser. Of bitches, I'm gonna kill them all. Every Loser. fucking Come one of them. them! Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, I got this. no, no you don't. Ah. Get up. Uh, fucking rippers. You gotta go. It's like uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck. Uh. I didn't see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. Come on. Don't look at it. My goddamn arm. I'm serious. Don't look at it. My god! Don't look at it. Get on the bike! Oh, shit! Go, go! Why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. Just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. Oh, thank God. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta oh. have sterile bandages oh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it in the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer. I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it. My bike's gone. Fuck! Damn it, Copeland! Hey! You're from Copeland! Are you there? Yeah, D. Get your bike? Oh, nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. Stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. I gotta go talk to man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. Work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Manny, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh, oh, oh. You don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. 
The fool that wrote it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. Man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. O okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and... Let's talk. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah. He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. If you do that, well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. Salvage. All right. Mm -hmm. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever touch Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Nope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. But Dick, Dick, uh, hold up. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. Deke generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing, now would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Hey, Dick, you okay? You don't sound like... like yourself. It's, not, it's nothing. You know, I just let this drifter get the drop on me. Lucky for me, she was, uh, out of ammo. You let her go, didn't you? Okay, yeah, fuck. Yes, yes, I let her go. Stays deep. That code of yours is gonna get you killed. Yeah, well, something's gonna do it, right? Does it matter what? Deacon out. Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about.
We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, god damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. I oh, shit. I think it's just I'm going a little stir crazy here, Dick. Just try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. Oh, hello. What's this? Nero tank. Uh, an injector of some kind. Mm. This will help me keep my eyes open. Hey, Boozer. I uh, found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! um, hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that arm. Come on, got it. all right! <sighs> Deke? Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. They can't get you now. Got it. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Boozer! Boozman, are you listening? Uh, well, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper! A chopper? Wait, what are you talking about? A Nero's chopper! It just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there! Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing! Hey, Deke. Be oh, careful. Don't get too close to him. You know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid! Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. Thank you. 
zero zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of okay. five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey Doc, I see site twenty three on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, <sighs> shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Okay, go Didn't you hear me? Over He's 400 subjects. And these aren't just go your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. But they're slapping like babies. No, and I asked if you were going in. Can't, can't be. I'd say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like it was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. Not them. Holy shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm, I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Seal the caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Well, we got enough fuel to get back. We're pulling out! Hold up, hold up! Move, move, move! Go, go, go! Alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait, you, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard them over the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Deke, don't... I'm not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh... Get some sleep. Deacon out. Where's Tucker? Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to. I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry, even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's got to get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, we get Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al! Are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Alki. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. But you want me out there in the shit. Chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't!
Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep the shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here, hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You, get your ass back to work. Don't make me go get Cyrus. Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. Yeah, nice. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. <gasps> Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped a ripper camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it, two bikers, two men, asking if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? I don't want you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Thanks. Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Need anything else? Good choice.
Yeah, all right. I'll be here. Like you doing your jobs. Damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. Burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. Yeah, thanks. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men uh, escaped to Ripper Camp over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Yeah, why don't you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh, you got that right. Go see Alki. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. Uh, hey, me again. I'm gonna tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my nerve. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was gonna be a life like this. It's fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey. I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait! Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Wait. Hey. <laughs> Hey, are you okay? Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Here we go. Come on. Oh, she stabbed me. Oh, yeah. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, look. Okay. Just hold this here as soon as you can. Can you run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. 
What was that? <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the hell out. She's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning this up. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. Who's this little, this little kid? This, this goddamn little kid. The goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Hey, mm. Mom. You want to be able to come through? We got to get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. See if you can rest over here. Hey, mm? easy, easy. <sighs> she reminded me so much of my little sister, you know. Mm. Cause we used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We ain't going that way. Ah. Come on. All right. Hey, sweetheart, can you move? Who's here? Yeah, I got her. Go find a way out. It's nothing, Coco. I got this. Go. <clears throat> Hold on. Don't shoot. Just fuck you. Yeah. Oh! yeah, we see you got guns, guys. Stop shooting. Sir? Hey, 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 hey. I'm unarmed. I'm unarmed. Get out. Now listen to me. Listen to me. My girl's out there. She's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out there's out. a helicopter you waiting. Her. So listen. You killed just... my wife. Oh, no, no, no. Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I'm sorry, sir. No, sir. Do you need to do it? You need to do it! You need to do it! You need to do it! My wife! God. You can't do it! Stop! 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 We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, now, Brian. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. What do you got room for two of you? We're overweight, Where? okay? I can only take two of you, two. Okay. Come, on, come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Here we are. Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never going to make it without me. I want this back. You coming?
You, uh... You rest easy, okay? I'll, uh, I'll be back to check on you, and I know, yeah, you wouldn't want me to, but... I guess Boozer's right. I can't, I can't help myself. It's, uh... It's like I said. I'll be back. Leave it. All right, I'm just out hunting for each boozer. You got that? Bounties. That's the only reason that I go up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on. They're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping. I mean, if they were trying to hit me, I would be dead. Deke, remember me telling you about that death wish of yours? Yeah, 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 I got this. Deke it out. Like they were out here, shit, wrangling freaks. I don't know. They had a newt in some kind of noose, like they were putting a tracking device on it or something. What? Wrangling? What, what do you mean? You know, like tying it up, taking samples from it or something, like those guys used to do on that wildlife show. Pretty fucked up. They got chased off by swarmers, bugged the hell out. They left some gear behind, a radio. Wait, you don't, you don't think that Sarah? No, no, not. I, I I don't know. I'm just and he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. O'Brien, one of them, Nero. I'm gonna track him down if I can. I I'm gonna I'm gonna get some answers. Damn it. Okay. Look, I'll be able to ride soon. I'll help you, Deke. If he's alive, we'll find the bastard. <sighs> You're goddamn right. I'm gonna check in later. Deacon out. Okay, O'Brien. Where the hell are you?
Hey. So I'm sort of lost. I was hoping you could help me out. I'm sorry, you're lost? Yeah, yeah, I'm looking for the old Belknap Road and there's not a lot of signs around here. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Nope. What? What is it? What? Oh, it's <laughs> great. That is just perfect. <laughs> that is great. That is great. So about those directions? <laughs> I'm really sorry. I, I don't know where Belknap, Belknap, Belknee, Belknap. Belknap, that's the one. And I don't know where it is. I really can't help you. I'm sorry. So no, then? <sighs> nope. Okay. Well, thanks anyway. Hey! <sighs> All right. <laughs> could you use a ride? Yes, I could. Thank you for finally offering. I'm Sarah. I'm Deacon. Oh, well, sorry about the mess. <clears throat> um, I don't know, how do I, uh, this contraption? Pretty much what you think, you just throw your I just... leg over, yeah. Okay, um, there. Whoa. Okay. <clears throat> Ready. Hey! <laughs> hey! Hold on tight. Thank you so much. No problem. It's just, there are no bars out here, so... Well, sure there is. There's a place called Crazy Willie's up the road. There's, uh... No, I meant cell phone reception. I knew what you meant. Right, of course. Anyway. So what's a nice girl like you doing in a place like this? <laughs> you know, I ask myself that all the time. I do research. Um, you know, I study things. Thanks. Had no idea what research was. Sorry, um, I do plants. You study plants? Yeah. Hey, hey, look out! Shit! Oh. 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 Asshole! Oh my god. Are you okay? I'm just... Oh, Lordy, that was close. Hey. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I just... Oh, my God. Hey. Hey. I've got cell phone reception. Hey. Yeah, I'm fine. I just... The car you gave me, it's a real piece of shit. I need a tow. I'm on, um, I don't know, some, I don't know where Road I am. Road 42. Road 42? Yeah, I'm, I'm about a mile up. Okay, I'll see you when you get here. Come on, I'll take you back to your car. We can wait for the tow truck. Uh, I don't know. Well, all right. I'm sure when those boys come back, they'd be happy to give you a ride, so. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, I just... Just give me a second. There'll be any minute now, All right, so... all right, all right, screw it, let's go. Just drive a little careful this time, okay? <laughs> you weren't really lost, were you? Well, that all depends on who you ask. My ex would say I've been lost for years. Well, you certainly know your way around here. You're not from around here. No, I'm from Seattle. The company that I work for, they just, they opened this lab here, so... Here I came to the middle of nowhere. To research plants. That's right, I already told you I forgot. Um, yeah, so, the company that I work for, they, they do work for this bioengineering firm, and um, some of the plants that I, I look at are pretty rare, and they just happen to grow here. That has got to be the best thing I've ever heard. What the hell? Clean! We got company! 
All right, gentlemen. Hit him again. Now you like that bike, love boy. Do it. Come on, hit him. Not so tough now. Hit him. <laughs> uh, you don't learn, do you, Watch bike old boy? Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, dude. I'll teach him good. Yeah, you like that? How about that? Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm out. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Roll, goddammit. Roll. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Uh, oh, my God. Hey. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I, I don't even know. I just was looking in your bag, and no, I, I saw right. that, and I... Oh. oh, my God, I could have killed somebody. Well... Oh, shit. Yeah, but you, you gotta kind of aim it at them first. See, I've never done anything like that before. Hey, I saw, it's okay, it's okay. I They're saw gone. it in They're your gone. bag, and I just I tried to call you the police, good. but there were, you know there were no do? bars. There was do? no reception. I'm gonna wait right here until your guy comes. Okay. Thank you. I've never done anything like that. Huh. Could have fooled me. Yeah? somewhere. I would need water. Maybe, maybe down by the creek. Gotta look around. Muddy tracks. Kid size. Women's. Oh, fuck. Boozer would know. Gotta be hers. This must be where she comes to get water. Yeah, you come here for water every day, don't you? As you move cautiously, you know, stick around more. Good for you. <sighs> Smart girl. Stay off the street. Only come out at night. The freakers are out, but she'd be harder to see. Don't be afraid. Uh, I'm not gonna hurt you. Are you alone? Is there uh, anyone else with you? <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Uh, is, is this your room? It's, it's really great. Uh, are, are these yours? No! Uh, uh, Lisa. That's oh. mine. This one's for gymnastics. I should have won first place, but Missy King, she cheated. Lisa! Lisa, you hear the gunshots outside? It's not safe here. I was now, at we... school. And my mom called me and told me to come home right away and not stop, and they would be here waiting for me, and we would leave together, and... I got here and there was a note that said they left with some men and I didn't know what to do. So, so I hid. I, I, I didn't know what to do. It's all right, it's okay, it's okay. 
Uh, Lisa, not far from here, there's a camp. And you really ought to let me take you there. Uh, no. There are people there. There are people, I know them. It's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a work camp, and to eat, you have to work. Life is gonna be hard, no, but at least you ain't gonna starve. No, uh, no my mom's coming here is, for okay, me. Okay, is this your mommy? Well, you said she didn't come home, right? So, maybe she's at the camp. Mom is at the camp? I know she is. Okay. Stay close. What's your name? Uh, Deacon. My name's Deacon. Uh, Lisa... Lisa, how did you live out here alone for all this time? <sighs> you don't talk much, do you? My dad's a rock hound. He used to take me out here looking for thunder eggs. Thunder eggs? Uh, what is that? They're rocks, but when you cut them open, they're really pretty inside. Okay. Th that sounds great. We used to go all over. Belknap Crater, the lava flow and Black Crater, everywhere. Do you think he's at the camp too? Uh, I don't know, kid. Uh, I'm gonna ask you a question, Lisa, and I need you to think real hard. Did any of your neighbors, did they own any firearms? You know, like uh, pistols, rifles, things like that? No. Men came and took everything. Men? Were they like the men in the tunnel, or, or did they wear uniforms like, uh, like in the army? Like the army. But they were really dirty, and they carried flags they made themselves. Um, Deschutes County Militia, I think. I don't remember. Did they have anyone with them? Women? Children? I don't remember. Okay. Tommy would remember. Tommy? Tommy Strickland, my best friend. But he's gone. He left with his dad to hide. Hide? I, I don't... His dad built a fallout shelter and put all kinds of stuff in it. Maps, food, water, guns, you know, stuff like that. Okay, okay, do you know where that is? No. They wanted me to come with them, but I knew my mom and dad would come back for me. Hey, someone's here. All right, this is it. We're here, so just stay with me. Okay. Well, who do we have here? Mrs. Tucker! Oh, my God. <gasps> Lisa, honey. Oh, it's okay. You're safe now. Mom and Dad, and everyone got sick, and I didn't know what to do, and men came, and people shh, got shh, sick, and... It's okay. You're safe now. It's a miracle. It's a goddamn miracle. We were neighbors, weren't we, Lisa? I lived just down the block. I knew her parents. Are they here, Mrs. Tucker? Honey, you know the answer to that. No. They're not here. Let's go in. Get you cleaned up. Something to eat, and then, then I'll find a place for you to sleep. Take her in. Give her some food. Go see Alki. I'll update your credits tonight. Hey, hey, listen, listen. She's she's been through a lot. Can we just let me worry about how? No, gonna... listen to me, okay? Seriously, don't work her like you do everyone else. Don't tell me how to run my camp. You want to move here? You want to help us run this? Then maybe you get some say. <laughs> don't get soft on me, D.
So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I don't want to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any of your Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick, there's your buck. I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got it. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spot? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. On it. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man and... Yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut it, dear. Well, let's just say, no disrespect to Boozer, but... you got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad. For a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. O'Brien, how much longer are we going to be out here? We're just getting started, so pull your jets, okay? Let me get back to work. O'Brien, this is going to be it. Sarge, how about we make an unscheduled stop on our way back? A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? Lieutenant O'Brien, field note 2 
006. On approach to the landing site, I observed a large swarm of insects, probably Dematosotronus or Diptera, in a clearing well away from our designated target. From that distance, I cannot discern what was attracting the insects, but from the size of the swarm, recent carrion is indicated. Should be just over here. Damn it, there's... Ah, here it is. Speculation as to Tabanus Atratus is confirmed. Lots of force flies here, but I have the suit on. Let me tell you, the carrion is still mostly intact and appears to be what a Corleus and Linus or mule deer. Well, leave it this way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what did that been something? Uh-oh. Uh, what do you want? Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero, Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub civilians! That I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like... making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next it's night, with Nero camp, Protocol 2 7 were states. Burning. The Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero, for goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. Crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it gonna be, O'Brien? Yes. Okay. Okay. You remember the rooftop of the old brewery. I put a woman on your chopper. She was wounded. Yes. I remember, a, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm going to ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I... I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but I'll, I'll check. Uh-huh, and I'm going to go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't... Hey, you don't understand, but fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're going to fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did that woman, your wife... I put her on oxygen, I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic, she wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life! O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, I, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Brian, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes, I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Good. They won't let me leave. Well, why would you want to leave? It's safe here. I have to work. Okay. Okay. Lisa, I... Go away. Uh, brought you something. It's beautiful. Will you take me with you? 
Take me back to Marion Forks. Look, I, I can't, because it's not safe. I gotta turn in. They make us get up really early for work. Hey, uh, you're not answering the radio. Yep. I know, I was... Well, hold on, hold on. No, I'm all right, I'm all right. Just... I'm trying to get clear, you know? You're burning up. Ugh, my head's pounding like a mother. You're burning up. No, 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 I'm just, I'm just tired. Okay, stay here, rest. I'll think of something. Look, I don't need a goddamn babysitter, I'm fine. Here, come here, I'll show you what you're looking for. Uh, yep, found it. <laughs> All right, come on, focus. I am focused. All right, so this one is called Lavandula angustifolia. Lavender? Yes, well, I'm still paying off my student loan, so I will stick with Latin, mm -hmm. but you can call it that. Yeah, get your money's worth, go for it. <laughs> okay, come on, give me your hands. <sighs> All right, so you want to put one hand around the flower. All right. And then put the other hand at the stem. Okay. Just like that, and then you pull nice and slow. You know, I pulled weeds before. Uh, excuse me, sir, this is not a weed. You have to be gentle. But apply pressure. Oh, yeah, but not too hard. <laughs> okay, ready? Mm-hmm. Go. There you go, that's perfect. Yeah. <laughs> and it doesn't <laughs> smell very good. Okay, you hold on to those, and I'm gonna collect more. <laughs> so, uh, why lavender? Well, the guys at the lab are pretty excited. They, they think they have this subspecies, which might have mutated monoterpenoids, which produce a modified linalool that... That is so... Oh, my... Thank you, Einstein. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry. It has a chemical that we can use to synthesize a new medicine for burn patients. Where I'm from, the only weed used for medicine is the kind that you smoke. You know, Boozer knows a guy with a farm that's about three miles up the road. Oh, that's great. Boozer's gonna wind up in prison and take you with him. <laughs> so what else do you guys make? Like chemical weapons, WMDs, shit like that? No, 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 no. Well, at least not me. Yeah? It's in my contract. None of my research can be used for military purposes. There's more over here. Wait, stop. Oh, come on, the water's yeah. gonna be great. Hold, hold on, hold on. What's wrong? Well, I, I didn't mean stop that. <laughs> come on, what is it? It's a long story. Well, that's okay. We can just walk. I like walking. <laughs> so, why don't you tell me about your plants? Really? Okay. Well, this particular genus is adventitious. You want me to ask? It means not native to this area. You can thank Ogden for that. Who? Oh, shit, I asked. Peter Skeen Ogden, first explorer to come through this part of Oregon. He and some of the other early explorers brought all their medicinal herbs and plants with them. Some got away, and now they're growing here. Mostly along the shores of small lakes and ponds. First white explorer? Oh, look at you, being all politically correct. Don't buy into all the biker stereotypes you see on TV. We are actually quite charming. I bet. The MC's got a couple of brothers, one fully patched. I don't think I've seen one person of color since I arrived in your strange little backwater paradise. Yeah, Jack actually had some guys bust in from Sacramento just to piss off our skinhead rivals. He did not. <laughs> No, he did not. I'm kidding. Jersey Jim's an old buddy of mine. Patched him and myself. We served in the same unit. 
Come by the clubhouse Sunday. I'll show you around. You'd like the guy. He's funny as shit. He makes a mean margarita. Well, I have to be in the lab early on Monday, so... I'll have us back in your bed by 10. I promise. How can I refuse an offer like that? Okay, you try picking some now. Lavender. You, you want me to pick lavender? Yep. And bring me three plants and don't crush them. Oh, I'm gonna crush them. <laughs> Come on. Uh, got one. Good for you. This one? Yep, keep going. Last one. Great, bring him here. <sighs> oh. <laughs> for you. Wow, gallantry is alive and farewell after all. No. If he's <laughs> not, then I didn't kill him. <laughs> hey! Oh, oh, oh. Aww, poor guys. Hey, is that the one we're gonna smoke later? No, but this is the one we're gonna drink. I make this killer herbal tea with it. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all right, if you come over, then I will make it for you, as long as you give me a ride home. All right, great. You're gonna be a believer. And we'll grab a beer from myself on the way over. <laughs> Hey, Boozer. Uh, God damn it! Uh, it's a funny thing. I, I was remembering how uh, a few summers back, Sarah took me out to Bear Creek. To, we were picking lavender, and uh, she Listen. taught <laughs> she taught me how to make this sap for burns. And uh, look, I got out today. Okay, I actually had a look around the mountain. I cleared some traps. The arm's almost as good as new. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it right here. Hey, hey, just give me a couple days, okay? Just we'll ride up north like you said and get out of this shithole. Sure. Yeah. Lisa. Lisa? Hey. Sweetheart. No! Hey! Hey! No! hey. Shut up! Shut up! Lisa, it's me. It's Deacon. Remember? Deacon? Okay. All right. That's all right. It's all right. Come on. You okay? Oh, damn it. Can you run? Do you know where the visitor center is? All right. That's where my bike is. I need you to run air as fast as you can. Don't stop. Don't stop. All right, don't stop, no matter what. You ready? Huh? Go. Please take it down. Hide. The path. Stay on the path. Free Lisa, run. Go, go. Get to the visitor oh, center now. Go. I got you now. Come on. Get to my bike. Run. safe now. Are you okay? No. Listen to me. To the south of here, there's a camp at Lost Lake. It's nothing like the hot springs. Iron Mike, he's not like Mrs. Tucker. I hated Mrs. Tucker. <laughs> well, you wouldn't be alone there. This is a nice camp, and it's a safe place. Okay. Hold on.
Ricky! Ricky, come back! Ricky, are you still on this channel? Lost Leg Camp, come in. Deacon? Ugh, long time no here. What do you want? Just... meet me, okay? On the Cascade Highway where it intersects with the old Belknap Road. I'm heading there now. You know what Iron Mike said? The night you and Boozer rode out of here? Uh, <clears throat> oh yeah. That. Uh, listen! That's why I radioed you and not Schizo. Iron Mike doesn't even have to know about this. I got a kid here. What? Well, I mean, not a kid. Uh, a survivor. She's been out here a long time. You've got a survivor, and you're bringing her to Lost Lake. No, you're bringing her to Lost Lake. I'm bringing her to you. Ricky, you there? Yeah, okay. I'm on my way. Lost Lake out. Ricky? Uh, yeah, okay, you're welcome. You're gonna like it there, kid. So like I said, Iron Mike, he's, um, uh, he likes to yell a lot. Look, don't let him bother you. You got that? Uh, anyway, there's this guy named Schizo. If he bothers you at all, well, just tell Ricky. Or, uh, tell Addie. She's the camp's doctor. You tell her. And Addie's, she's good. She's got medicine, you know, to clean up those, uh, to clean up those cuts. I mean, you don't want to get infected. They're gonna help you out, kid. You can count on them, even if you, uh, you know, even if you screw up. All right. Hey, Ricky. Hey, Deke. I'm surprised. What, did Tucker give up the slave trade? Uh, Lisa, this is, uh, Ricky. She's gonna, uh, take you to a safe place. Nothing has changed, Deke. Iron Mike is not gonna pay you for this. Pay me for- oh, come on. That's not- excuse me. That's not what this is about. It's not about collecting a bounty or anything. You just- mm -hmm. you just take her. Huh? What's wrong with her, Deke? What's wrong with- she was- had a run-in with some rippers. I had to- Oh, my God. Hey, Lisa. Hi, I'm Ricky. Listen, do you like to go fishing? I love fishing. It's, it's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Would you want to go fishing with me? Yeah? Come on, I'm going to tell you about Lost Lake. It has the clearest water you have ever seen. And the fish, oh my god. The fish in the morning, they jump this high. I'll show you. When we go, we're gonna have such a good time. Make sure you hold on tight, okay? Ready? I really appreciate it. They're coming. Oh, they're gonna. They won't know. I mean, they're on me. They're gonna. Are what's going on? No! How'd you get in here? Whoa, 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 whoa. You stay right there! Those are, it's me. You stay there. It's Deke. Let's just Don't calm down. Don't you come any closer. Let's just I will talk. kill you. It's all right. Oh, oh my God! With the gun! Oh. With the gun, buddy. No, come I will not! Ah. Ah. Oh, shit. Oh, Jesus Christ. Boozer, what the fuck? I. I heard, I heard him. I heard oh, voices. Shit. Oh shit! Oh, I mean, you, you, you heard him, right? No, I didn't hear shit, Boozer. You no, got blood poisoning. I, I do not. Yes, you do, Boozer. Just take a look. I don't need to take a look. Come on, I'm... we gotta get you some help. Look, I don't need some. Come on. Damn, I don't need help. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. About trying to blow your head off. I mean, you know, I thought I saw something, you know? Easy. Hey, watch the steps. I got this. I mean, it was, it was in my head, you know? 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I could hear him, Deke. I, I could hear him, Deke. Footsteps just pounded in my head. Boots. Just a few more steps. I don't need any help. I can goddamn walk. I can walk. Okay. Okay. I, I just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I saw them. So many of them just all coming, you know? Yeah. Now, come on. Come on. Get on. We gotta go. Wait. Wait, wait. What? Where are we going? I, I don't... It's just a short ride, Boozer. It'll help clear your head, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be good. Here, okay. Where are we going? Deke! You remember when we first rode out of Farewell? What that was like? Yeah. I remember. The highways were... They were all choked up with cars. There were so many people, all on the move, thinking that if they could only go fast enough, that they'd outrun what was coming. Yeah. No one could move fast enough, Boozer. No one saw it coming the way I did. So by the time they said, fuck it, you know, and started walking and then running, it was too late. Too late. And I remember Watching the freaks, watching them all come, thousands of them, and all those, all those dumb shits just got swallowed up. Yeah, I remember. When you see a thing like that, you know it's only a matter of time before it's our turn. Nothing's gonna stop it, Boozer. Not a goddamn thing, but... Wait, do you know why we keep going? No. Because what the hell else are we going to do? Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, figure you get all purdied up before heading in. Oh, uh, you know. Yeah, I figured I'd stop in the lodge, have a few beers, and just stroll into the infirmary. No, 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 man, I'm just, just sick of it. Uh, yeah. no, I don't care, I'm just fucking with you. Uh, hey, Deke. Mm -hmm. Mike said he'd kill you if he ever saw you again. Uh, and if he said that it... That old man doesn't remember his name half the time. No, no, no. Hey, he'll hey, remember. You gotta stay awake. We're off the open road, but if a freaker wanders oh, yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm. All right. Hey, Dick. Yeah. Don't you kill anyone in the camp, okay? I'm not gonna kill anyone. You good? Never better. <clears throat> ah, damn it. <laughs> Hi, Ricky. Hi, Addie. Uh... I don't want any trouble, so if you ladies just step aside, I'll show you. No, 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 what, what the hell are you doing, doing in my uh -uh. infirmary? Oh, are you going to shoot me now? <gasps> oh, wait, wait, there's a code, right? You can't shoot a woman unless you have to. Well, now you have to. Ah, shit. Okay, look, why don't you just let me explain? Check what's in the cooler. <sighs> What are you, selling narcotics for Tucker now? You know, when you brought me that girl, I thought you had changed. But clearly you haven't. No, it's not narcotics. What? It's antibiotics. Boozer's sick. He's got blood poisoning. I had no place else to go. Blood poisoning? What happened? Does it matter? I fucked up. Bring him in. 
Go and get him. Bring him here. No, we can't do that. Yes, we can. Look, I don't care who he is, and I don't care what Iron Mike thinks. When a man is sick, a man is sick. We have to look out for each other. Baby is all we got. Come on, I'll give you a ride. Which way are we headed? Do you remember there was a small camp when we first rode into the valley? Yeah, I remember. You call this a bike? It may not be a fancy drifter bike, but it gets the job done. Get on. How's she doing? The girl that I brought in, Lisa. Are you, are you gonna take me to see her? No. Oh, God damn it, Ricky. What what the hell? Why not? I can't. She's not here. Wait, wait, hold on for a second. Where is she? A few days ago, Schizo assigned her to a scavenge run. She and three others headed over to the road camp to look for supplies. They came back without her. You're telling me they left her? They left her, out in the shit! They didn't leave anyone. They said she ran off. Jesus! It could have been anything. Wolves, freaks, rippers. Choose your poison. And what, what, what was Schizo thinking, sending her out on a supply run? Everyone's gotta work, Deep. That's the deal, and you know it. I don't believe this shit. What? She'd been surviving in Marion Forks for years when I found her. Yeah, then maybe you should have left her there. Who's there? Hey. Get back, don't make me blow your goddamn Loser. head off. It's me. No, get back! Oh. Hey. Hey, it's, uh, it's Ricky. <laughs> you remember me? I rode with you guys a year ago. Ricky. What? Tumalo? Yeah. That's for... Tumalo to... Goss Lake? Yeah. Yeah, man. Hold on, hold on. That's right. How you doing there, loser? You doing all right? Uh, PG. It still didn't give you the right to steal our shit. Are you kidding me? Look at his arm. What was I supposed to do? Huh? I don't know. Maybe ask. Jesus. Look at you guys, the biker boys. The most badass drifters in this shit, right? And now you come back crawling to Iron Mike. Oh, wait. If you let you. <laughs> come on, just help me get him back to Addy. Let's go. Come on, pal. I don't need your help. <clears throat> Ricky. Yeah, Boozer Ricky. Hey, where, where are we going? Addie said she's agreed to, to take a look at your arm and, and see what she can do. What? No. No, you're not taking me to some goddamn camp. I can ride, damn it. We're not sa Damn it. Boozer, it's just for a few days. Get some shit for your arm and then... No. You know what it's like there, Deke. No, you're not thinking straight. This isn't the Hot Springs. This is Lost Lake. Iron Mike. Remember him? Iron Mike? Who's gonna get us killed? You said. That was a long time ago. They built the place up. They, they got more people. We're all gonna fucking die. We'll be long gone before anything like that happens. Camp's got the only dock in a hundred miles. Now, Addie, just look, she'll take care of it. Just, just a couple of days. Yeah, then we ride the hell out of here. Right north, like you said. Get the hell away from all this. Yeah. Yeah, we ride north. Leave all this shit behind.
Okay, so I'm gonna go back and check on him and make sure he's okay. Coward. Yeah, you got that right. Well, how long? And until he can ride, I mean. You mean how long do you have to be here? Look, we have antibiotics, but it's not enough. Byron Mike lets you stay. Your friend will have a chance. So what happened? How'd he burn his arm like that? We ran into some rippers south of Belknap. Guess they didn't like his tattoos. Jesus. I've heard about them doing shit like that to themselves, but not to people they're trying to recruit. <sighs> Boozer wasn't any goddamn recruit. Well, guess Tucker should have made a deal with them like Iron Mike. Come on, Ricky. He just he doesn't get it. Carlos isn't going to honor any deal with Lost Lake, not for long anyway, and Mike, he just doesn't see it. He sees more than you think. You've always had your good side, Deke. You've just been doing your best to kill it. Thanks for the vote of confidence. You cannot believe a word he is going to say. Addie is soft. Mike, we do not have enough for those that pull their own weight, let alone a goddamn cripple. He's not oh, a cripple. On. He can work. He... I say we throw them out on their asses. Mike, that is not who we are. Jesus. Listen to you. And you. You tired of being Tucker's little bitch, finally? Raymond, huh? stop it. Don't call me that. I'm pretty tired, all right. All right, See? enough! See? You know who the fuck this guy is, and you know what he... You hold on! And you! You put that shit away. Mike, Deacon was I one that know. brought me the good. I know. And I know what kind of man he is. What he's done. He done any worse than you? Ricky? How about me? We've all been out in this shit, Schizo. We've all done things we're not proud of. We need another rider. Oh, now, wait a minute. I just need a few days and some antibiotics. I'll do whatever it takes. Sure, Mike. Whatever you say, I'm on board. Walk with me. Don't you. start with me. So you're the one who brought them in. I didn't bring them in, Schizo. Boozer needed help. But he broke into the infirmary. The tackle shop isn't exactly... Ricky told me you stopped running you for Tucker. Fix that weeks ago. Sent that little girl here so instead. You're hooked up I'm with sorry I lied to so you before about doing box. runs for Tucker. Isn't that your job? How long you been drifting? No, you and Bill. Job. I don't know. Like I said, time gets lost. If folks don't put down some roots, figure this shit out, grow some food, come next spring, won't be none of us left. If you give Boozer what he needs, let us hold up here till he can ride. Like I said, I will do whatever you need. I just, I, I want you to know that as soon as he's patched up, we're gonna put together some gear, we're gonna ride north. North, huh? There's a camp up there near Smith Rock. Boozer's never been there. Anyway, got a lot of ghosts down here. It's time we move on. Fresh start, eh? Yeah, I can respect that. But go on. Leave me be. I got some thinking to do. Sure, Mike. Yeah, whatever you say. Just have Ricky radio me if you need something. Deacon. Hey. Is everything okay? What's wrong? Uh, actually, that's not why I'm here. Okay. Came by to see if there's anything you need 
for the uh, infirmary. Actually, we're running low on everything. I mean, we could always use more meds, sterile bandages, instruments. Uh, here. Hmm. A Liston knife. Yeah, it was used by doctors in the Civil War to perform operations in the field. Operations? And, you know, when they didn't have any anesthesia or laudanum. I wrote down where you might be able to find one. <laughs> it's the brochure for the Visitor Center at Sherman Sherman's camp. camp. Yeah, yeah, the plate's crawling with all the freakers. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, uh, Deacon. Thank you. Liston knife. This is it. Gotta get it back to Addie. Hey. Oh. Here's that knife you were looking for. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. Here, yeah, this will do it. Inside here. Is this uh, Lisa's handwriting? I want to forget. Sounds like something she would write. All right, I'm here. Jesus, don't... Don't sneak up on me like that. Did you find anything out about Sarah, about the woman that I put on your chopper? Nothing. Nothing? Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. It's gonna take some time, okay? I'm risking my neck here. If anyone the, the back at HQ finds out, the, those guys with the guns over there, You're they'll all order the without same question. Team, all right. It just looks that way. Look, I don't have time to explain it right now, but it's why I need your help. My help? Just, look, just take it. It's a, it's a wavelength recorder and some GPS trackers. I just need you to... We're out of time. Look, I... Shit, I don't even know your name. Deacon, Deacon St. John. Well, look, Deacon St. John, if you want me to risk my neck helping you find whatever her name... Uh, Sarah? Then, yeah, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. Okay. Keep the radio close. I'll contact you in a couple of minutes. You don't even know my name? Oh, you're gonna know it before we're done, O'Brien. And keep the radio close. It's been right here the whole time, you son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, how long do I have to wait now? Hello? Are you there, Deacon? Yeah, I'm here. Now, what's this all about? What do you want? What do you want? I've sent a series of coordinates to your radio. I need you to go to those locations. What? Why? Just listen to me. There are several Nero task groups doing work in the field. I need to know what they're doing. Then why don't you ask them? I can't. Look, I said it's a long story, and I don't have time to get into it right now. Let's just say the men above me, way above me, are running a lot of field missions, all separate from each other. Nobody knows what anyone else is doing. So the world ends and you assholes carry on like nothing's changed. Where? I sent you the coordinates. Okay, Jesus, O'Brien. All right, 
I will see what I can do. Just get to as many of them as you can. There are active LZs, landing sites, sample drop-off locations. Yeah, yeah, I got it, but you better have something for me, O'Brien. Yeah, yeah, I got it too. Hold on. Shit chasing choppers down for you. Their destination's classified. I'm locked out of their files. So I can't give you the coordinates to the LZ. You have to follow them in. Jesus, don't you guys have spy, spy satellites? Shit like that? Then not that I have access to, no. I told you one. Locked out. Yeah, I heard you. Now, can't let him get too far ahead. O'Brien, they're landing! Good. I have their coordinates now via your radio. You better go in on foot. On foot? Remember, you can't let them see you. O'Brien, I'm here. What do you want me to do? Each of these research units have a science guy. Like me, the area is guarded by a bunch of goons. Close to the researcher. Okay. The wavelength Let's get recorder is set to the channel we use to record data. We'll record everything they're doing. All good here. Okay, so you want me to sneak into an LZ filled with heavily armed Kevlar wearing soldiers right. who shoot on sight so that you can spy on some asshole wearing a pocket protector? Pocket protector? Really? I have a fucking PhD, asshole. Yeah, which stands for piled high and deep. Do you still have the tracking devices I gave you? Well, I was gonna sell them, but most of us don't have access to shit like, you know, satellites. Place one of them on their helo. Almost all of these filed missions include stops that aren't on the books. I'm gonna find out where they're going next. O'Brien. Really you don't need to ask. Yeah. I'm already looking into what records we have about where evacuees were taken. O'Brien out. It's just gotta be this. What the hell are you guys doing out here? <laughs> Checking the traps at Site 14 Alpha. They've confirmed a large male subject with a confirmed albinism mutation. The subject has expected lack of skin pigmentation and reddish eyes. Muscle mass appears to be 40% greater than normal infected subjects. What was it you called them? Bleachers. Well, they're real. Well, this is only the third subject we've been able to study. As noted, their strength and ability to absorb damage make them extremely dangerous to approach. We've noted in other field reports that over a thousand have been spotted in this area. Whatever is causing the mutation, it's spread rapidly. What's wrong? I'll tell you what's wrong. The boys were carving out the guts of a freak while it was still alive. They're not my boys. And what do you care? Aren't you a... What do you guys like to call yourselves? Drifters? Don't you kill the infected for money or whatever shit you barter with? Yeah, I kill freaks, but I don't carve them open while they're still alive and listen to them scream. <laughs> Did you get my data? Yeah, I got your data. Okay, I'm uploading it now. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Brian? O'Brien! God damn it, he did it again. Well, Brian, talk to me. Ah, shit, you better be in touch, O'Brien. Hey, I came by to see how the lazy bastard's doing. How you doing, mm. booze man? Are you, are you tired of laying around yet? Boozer. Hey, you can't be in come here, on, Deacon. Come on, hey, come what's on, going Deacon. on? How's he doing? He needs his rest. Don't mess around with me, Addy. I asked you. 
How is he doing? I'm good. I'm good. Uh, not good. Damn, it's cold. The anti They're not enough. Mm -hmm. They're never enough. Oh, wait a second. You said that I, I said that we would try. <gasps> Look, all we can do is wait. Okay. All right. Deacon. No, Deacon. there's. Uh, you Deacon. know what? There's something I can do Deacon. about Deacon. this. Stop. I can get. Stop! What? I know you want to smash something. I see that look yes. in your eyes. But you know what? You go right ahead, but you do it out there. Daddy, go. I can... Look, <sighs> there is nothing else you can do. Please, just go home. Go home, Deacon. Deacon, Deacon. So, are you gonna make it? Yeah, Schizo, he'll be fine. I just, he needs a few days. Come with me to the lodge. I wanna show you something. I got shit to do. I'm sticking my neck out here. Trust me, you're gonna wanna see this. Just, just listen. A couple of months back, this drifter comes into camp. Telling all kind of crazy stories. Said he worked at the airport, was on the ground back in Farewell when shit went down. One night, they were expecting a flight in from Portland. Only it never shows up. The plane? was doing the haul for the Red Cross. The Red Cross? Yeah. You getting it? Medicine, Funny. doctor shit, cargo hold full of it. it out here. Maybe even some of those uh, anti uh, whatever the fucks. Antibiotics. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit like that. Fishing. Just like that. Stuff like that. Where? You know, Keep your voice down, will you? City. Let's talk inside. Can't do a lot of camping on the east side of Portland. So this drifter. He's working in the control tower when the plane disappears off the radar. Poof. Now you see it, now you don't. Right about here. South of Mount Washington. That's what he said. It came down intact. A controlled crash or whatever. The guys got to listen to the pilot bleeding out from a broken pelvis on the ground. Okay, so you haven't sent anyone to find this? Nope. Why not? Because the old man won't have it. Iron Mike, what's... Oh, right. Rippers. <laughs> you catch on quick. Everything west of the Iron Ridge here belongs to Carlos and his merry band of bald-headed freak-alikes. Oh, so you go over there and you get caught? You head north, brother. Otherwise, Iron Mike's treaty with rest and peace goes... <laughs> okay. yeah, no, like no, I get it, I get it. Let me ask you a question. Why are you telling me this? Oh, wait a minute. First off, I'm not telling you shit. Do you remember that? Second off, you're a goddamn drifter. What am I supposed to do? Follow you around like I'm your little bitch, keep your ass out of trouble? All right. I have things to do. I get it. You're just a regular stand-up guy, right, Schizo? Just trying to stay alive, like everybody else. <sighs> hey. You do what you gotta do. At the end of the day, that's all we got. Do you know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Schizo. Keep your radio close. I'll be in touch. Schizo, it's St. John. I'm at the border. You see any of my men around? No, Schizo, it's clear. Look, how much time do I got? Time? Time for what? All I know is, I got a card game going on with a few of my guys. A couple of them maybe they should be out on guard duty, but I'm letting that slide. If I had to guess, I'd say we'd be playing all night. So until morning, got it, Deacon out.
of it! Son of this guy! Get it? Jesus Christ. One tough son of a bitch. Antibiotics. You gotta find me some antibiotics. Please will fix him up, and then we ride out of here, head north, like he said. Deacon St. John, you there? Deacon, this is Ricky. Over. Damn it, I can't let her know I'm out here. Hey, Ricky, this is Deke. Uh, you're breaking up. I can't hear you. Deke, where are you? I need to get... Yeah. Sorry, Ricky. I don't have time for this right now. Wait! That's Deacon. Behind him! You! You! Right up the road. Make sure they don't come back. Now! Hey, I heard gunshots. What's going on? We had a run-in with a few rippers, but I handled it. You handled it? What's it? Wow. I should have known. You should have known what? Jesus, Ricky, who's running security here? You know, I ask myself that shit every single day. I'm done here. Good. So what are you doing out here? What am I doing, Dick? Addy told me to come and get you. Why? What? Hold on for a second. Is Boozer okay? I don't know. We gotta go. What's wrong with Boozer? All I know is Addy told me to find you. When I asked around, I found out you and Skizzo were heading up here. Now I know why. I don't know what you're talking about. The crash site? The medical supplies? It's no big secret, Deke. Mike was negotiating with Carlos, making a deal so our camp would split it with the Rippers. Oh, bullshit! What do you mean? I mean bullshit! I was there. At that cargo hold's already been looted. Tracks from the crash site all head south. Now, I've been dealing with the fucking Rippers for months. You can't trust a goddamn thing they say. Now you're sounding like Schizo. Schizo, he put you up to this. He told you about the crash site. <laughs> yeah, great! So now you're calling me Schizo's errand boy. No? Then how'd you find out about it? A drifter up at Copeland's camp. Like you said, it ain't no big secret. Yeah, right. Well, Schizo's been trying to pick a fight with the Rippers for months. Guess it's lucky you came along to do it for him. So let me ask you something. Can I stop you? Last time I saw you, before last winter, you told Iron Mike to go fuck himself, because he wouldn't pay you to bring in survivors. It's not exactly what happened. I remember it pretty clearly. Iron Mike said he'd have nothing to do with slavers. Okay, we never forced anyone to come in against their will. How about Tucker? Same thing true for her? I don't know. You ever think when you roll up on someone, starving out in the shit maybe hasn't slept in days? reach the point where they stop running from men like you, you ever think they don't have a choice? But you took them to the hot springs just to say, earn a few camp credits. Everybody's got a choice, Deacon. It takes us a lot, too, bringing in someone who can't work, can't earn their way. You know, you just be glad that Iron Mike isn't like you. William. William, if you can hear me, I need you to stop! Addy, what's going on? Loser. <clears throat> Go and hold him. What the hell are you doing? Listen, what are you doing? Listen, we need to do this and we need to do this right now. You what? No. 
Don't you, oh, don't no. you take Deacon. it! No, no, De no, you're not, no way! No, you're not gonna Deacon, do this to him. Deacon, listen to me! The antibiotics will save his life, but nothing on God's earth is gonna save the arm. Now listen, I need you to help me right now, or you can just watch your friend die. Okay. Eddie, we're losing him! Stay away! Deacon. All right, all right, all right. Come on. Hey, pal. Hey, pal. All right, hey, I just need you to stay Hold with him. me. Hold him there. Okay. Hold him. Deacon. Deacon. Okay. Hold him down right there. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Oh, my goodness. I can it. We're losing. No, no, no. He's losing too much blood. You gotta stop. He's losing too much blood. Hand me the gun. Ah! 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 Oh! Oh, no. Boozer, come on, man. Come on. Hold him! You're okay, pal. Where? Where do I hold him? Just hold him right there. Stop panicking I'm and I'm crying! Hey. You did good in there. When I was in high school, I thought, hmm, maybe I should be a mechanical engineer, or should I be a surgeon? I guess I should have been a surgeon. <laughs> And you. Hey, hey, okay. You know, you saved your friend's life today. I don't think he's gonna see it that way. Yeah, well, I think he will. I gotta go and give him his IV drip. And you know what, I don't know where you got all this, and I don't want to know, but it's gonna save a lot of lives, Deacon St. John. A lot of lives. I gotta go help Abby. Mike, just settle down, okay? Deacon! Get out here! <clears throat> I heard what you did. I wasn't about to let him die. Mike, let it go. It's done. I know that, goddammit. Who's are gonna live? I don't know. But the Ripper saw you. Followed you back. When Carlos finds out about this, there's gonna be the devil to pay. Carlos can go fuck himself! You are writing checks with other men's blood! I hope you're good with that. You did what had to be done. Mike, wait up. O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons. Which one? What do you mean, which one? This Nero radio has a GPS, doesn't it? Yes, of course it does. I, uh, okay. Uh, you're at Olali Falls. Okay, good. Uh, keep an eye out. A field op is gonna be there any minute. O'Brien out. O'Brien! Oh, oh, God damn it. O'Brien, come in. Your friends are here. O'Brien. I told you, they're not my friends. Okay, head in on foot. Yeah, 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 I know. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, use one of these tracking devices. Now. Follow armed Nero goons into a cave. Just stay close to her. While you're in range, I can intercept her data. Well, Brian... I'm still working on the info you want, don't ask. Why the hell am I talking to you? Oh, Brian, out. Squad check. All clear. Just stay close to her. Right over here. Yeah. That. How easier what? said than done. Stage one, stage two, stage three thing. What do you mean? I mean the virus is what it is, right? No, it's more complicated than that. Now let me. Okay. I know I'm a grunt. Before the.
freak show. I was a biology major. Just give me the gist. Really? Try me. Okay. We don't really know, but blood tests show. The current evidence suggests that the virus spreads through the lymph system, reproducing and attacking cells on a catastrophic scale. Attacking? More precisely, yeah, expressing that? a series of normally dormant yeah, proto-oncogenes into an active state. Cancer. Look at him. Look at all of them. That look like cancer to you? Maybe you're really bad. No. No. No, this is something far worse. What do you mean? This virus is on a mission. The freaks are what they are because the virus wants them that way. What are you saying? I'm saying... Jesus, what am I saying? Terrorism? You're saying this was deliberate? I don't know. Is that it? Is she done? Yeah, okay. Time to get the hell out of Dodge. Ryan, come in. I've got the data. Receiving it now. Black, you're after it. No. What the hell is she talking about, Ryan? About this virus, whatever the hell it is, or what, what it's doing. I want to know what the hell's going on, O'Brien. Why are they out here? What the fuck are you doing? O'Brien! Okay. I'll be in touch. O'Brien out. Deke? I've been, uh... thinking about what you were saying about doing something to make a difference around here, pay back the camp. I'm listening. Do you got a few minutes? I want to show you something. Yeah, guess I can spare you a minute or two. So where are we heading? You ever been up to the caves north of the lake? I know. Come on, see if you can keep up. Okay, let's go. I got marsh duty anyway this morning. Gotta see if any freaks are stuck in the muck out that way. When's the last time you went up there? In a few years, I guess. When I was a boy, we used to live in that damn cave. That old man sort of fancied himself a geologist. Sounds like we got a couple. Freaks stuck in the mud, I mean. Yeah, sounds like. Here, let me take care of them. All right. I guess I can let you do that. Work. And Schizo's just found a new man for the job. You know what Schizo can go do. Anyway, as I was saying, we spent hours talking about how all these caves were formed when lava flows would harden on the outside, but the molten cores would still flow like buried rivers. You got the big caves that drew in the tourists, like Metolius up there. There's way more than that. Riddled all over these parts. Okay, okay, we're coming up on the highway. We gotta be quiet. Why you brought me out of here? I smell a bunch of goddamn freaks? Yeah. Okay, okay. Come on, follow him. Wait, wait, wait. Follow him. Where the hell are we going? You'll see. Come on. Don't get too close. Stay down. Just what the hell are we doing, Deke? This doesn't seem all that smart, even for a goddamn drifter. Hold up, hold up. You remember telling me about how the tourists used to flood up from California in the summer, choke off Highway 97 and the I-5 freeway? Yeah. In July, folks smelled almost as bad as these here freaks. Well, you weren't wrong about one thing. These freaks, the big groups, the ones that some call hordes, I think they're the reason we can't get their numbers down. What do you mean? Think about it, man. I've been out here in the shit collecting bounties for more than a year. Who's or two? Ricky, Schizo, a few others. How many freaks you think I killed? A few. A few. Yeah, but their numbers never go down. You got a point? It's these whores. 
Every night, there's a steady stream of them up and down the Sanium Highway, thousands of freaks pouring into the Lost Lake Valley, north of the Cascades. And you think they're coming up from California? Highway's closed off. No one's been south of the Santium Pass in years. It's not closed off to the hordes. Freaks are the reason it's closed off. Anyway, the point I'm trying to make is that the hordes come in every night. Not a goddamn thing we can do to stop them. Well, you got that much right. Lost more than a few men trying to back in the day. Yeah, I know. I was there. And every horde that comes through leaves a few stragglers or gets busted up and scatters and, and just like that, freaks everywhere as far as the eye can see. <clears throat> yeah, you, don't, you don't need to see them to know that they're around. We figure out a way to stop the hordes coming through. Maybe we can make some headway, reduce their numbers. Make it safer. Free up more farmland, irrigation. Yeah. Okay, so how do we do that? You know goddamn well you can't take on a, a, a whatever you call it, a, a horde? This is how. I'll be goddamn. Yeah. They stand there all day, hibernating or whatever the hell freaks do. So, what are you thinking that we. Yep. We blow it the hell up. Stick a dynamite there, there, and there. We'll bring down a mountain of rock. We seal this shit up. Yeah, so we trap a few hundred inside. What good is that gonna no, do? No, no, you don't get it. We seal this cave. Maybe they don't got no place to sleep. Or maybe this trail of piss and shit dries out, goes stale, and others stop coming. Yeah. All right. All right. You got my attention. Okay, come on. Let's head back. All right, my knees are warmed up a bit. Let's see if you can keep up. Yeah, okay. Tell me, when does being out in the shit make you an expert on freaks? You spend your spare time just following them around, seeing what makes them tick? Not exactly. And how do you know about all this? About what a horde's gonna do, where they sleep? A few days ago, I was riding north of Belknap Crater when a chopper flew by. A chopper? What the hell? Just listen to me. It was a black chopper. One of those Nero choppers that used to fly all over the goddamn place when the shit was going down. And you saw one, still flying. I followed him. I stole one of their radios. I've been trying to track him down, see if they have a base around here. Supplies. Shit, I mean, see if the feds are still alive. You know what I'm saying? They're out here doing field work of some kind on the freaks. They're studying them. They got resources to do that while we're out here starving, fighting to stay alive. I followed them up to the Grotto Caves. You know the ones? Yeah. They had motion sensors set up, measuring how many freaks use the cave during the day. And, uh, Mike, it was thousands. That right. They said freaks all up and down the Cascade Range, south of Crater Lake and north up to Smith Rock, all use these lava tube caves to hibernate. So, we blow up those caves, maybe we have a few less to deal with. Hey, this idea of yours, it's got some merit, but job like that, it's gonna take a fair amount of TNT. He said you wanted help making Lost Lake safer. This is how we do it. <sighs> All right. All right, look. There's some things I gotta do, okay? But you meet me at the bridge in a couple of minutes. I know where we can find some. Ready? Where are we headed? This time you're gonna have to trust me. OK. 
Okay, where are we going? You know what they used to mine all around these parts? Yeah, uh, mercury or something. That's right, cinnabar. They extracted mercury from cinnabar. Folks back east think it was gold mines out here and silver. Not so. Back in the early 1900s, cinnabar was worth more than gold. To operate the mine, you need TNT for expansion, blowing out new tunnels, clearing cave-ins, that sort of shit. And to own TNT, you had to register with the county, keep copies of the keys to all your lockboxes with the commissioner. Wait, the county courthouse? Where the hell is that? Thought you knew. It's in the old federal building. The old federal building? The one in Sherman's camp? Jesus, Mike. What the hell? You told me... You, you told me that you were never setting foot in that place again. Did I? I don't recall. You were drunk right after Joe was killed. Did I tell you why? No. Here! Turn right here! This is it! Mike, the place is gonna be crawling out. I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, weather holds will be safe enough. All right, that there, it's the old federal building. That's where we're headed. Let's not go looking for trouble. Stay out of the buildings. Come on, we gotta head over this way. Where are we headed? Just follow me. Key will be on the commissioner. And and you know where he is? <laughs> where his body is? Yeah. Yeah. I think I do. You heard what happened here. Yeah? Everybody got wiped out, man, woman, and child. Only a few got out, and and uh, you you were one of them, right? Only two got out. Me and Nora. But it wasn't the freaks that took us out. What do you mean? Here. Says called a truce. A meeting. Right here. Oh, we knew what was coming. We knew what was coming and we were prepared. Fight didn't last long, but, but it was bad. They had ammunition left after all, and well, they... Oh, hell, you can see what they did. Like I said, two people walked out of this town after all was said and done. And some days... I wish to hell one of them wasn't me. Commissioner's over there in the bean counter suit. Go get the key so we can get the hell out of here. You didn't give a damn about sealing the caves. You brought me here be... Because you, you brought me here because you wanted me to see this. Not true. All right, you got the key. We're going to go get the maps to those mines, just like I said, and we're going to get more than enough TNT to seal every cave in the valley. Bullshit. You are right about one thing. I'm not sorry you've seen it. Not following you, Mike. I am talking about the war that's coming. With the Rippers. The one that Schizo so hot for. You think he cares how many die on either side? Never mind. Come on, let's get this done. Here's the door. Place is locked up tight. Open. Come on, gotta find a way upstairs. 
Smells like something died in here. Newts. Yeah, I smell them. Bad business. Never much like kids. They always tended to get on my nerves. It was always the sore spot between me and my Elizabeth. God rest her soul. You didn't like kids. Wow, well, here I thought you liked everyone. Almost no one, point of fact. But I tolerate most. Even smart-ass drifters. Come on. Locked tight. Okay. All right, this is it. Now we got maps to every mine in the county showing where they stored their dynamite. Okay, come on. Hear that? Yeah. Were you expecting anyone? Nope. Do you have my back here? Hey, I don't like starting trouble, but I'll finish it if I have to. Stay behind me. Hey, I could take care of myself. I'm not saying you can't, but remember the last time that we were out in the shit. Yeah, like I said, I'm staying behind you. Right behind you. What a mess! Now you know why no one goes into Sherman's camp. Eddie finds out you're out here risking your ass like this, she's gonna be pissed! Now how would she find out about something like that? Not from me. the rippers why you wanted me to see that shit no dink i always saw a bit of myself in back in the day how's that you don't give a shit oh you care about your friend don't want to see him die but me any other goddamn person on the planet i don't think so caring will just get you killed yeah that's right thing is not caring will get you killed just as easy Good folks of Sherman Camp did was stop caring about anyone but themselves and their own. Easy to kill a man when he's just some piece of meat standing between you and what you need. Schizo wants to kill Rippers because he don't think they're human anymore. They don't count. He's standing in the way of what he wants. Well, I don't buy into that shit. I won't have it. You know... Schizo, he, uh, he wonders why I'm a pacifist. That's, you know, that's what he likes to call me. He, uh, he thinks I'm gonna get everybody killed. Well, are you, Mike? Are you gonna get everyone killed? Freaks aren't gonna be around forever. Now, when they're gone, we're gonna need some folks around here to help pick up the pieces. Hey, look, hey, hey. I don't like Carlos and his rippers any more than I like Tucker or, or Copeland and his, his, his goddamn truthers. All right, but here, look. Here's the thing, Deke. I'm not going out of my way to kill any of them. I've had my share of killing. Even if Carlos comes for you? My truce will hold. You can bet on that.
it going, brother? No, Deke. I don't know about you, but uh, I could use a hand. Uh, <laughs> you lay down. <laughs> yes, ma'am. He can't have visitors uh, just yet, but uh, I could really use a hand. Okay, I'll see you later. I'll be here. Hey, Doc, Doc, seriously, though. Um, will I be able to play piano after all this is over? Very funny, William. Lay down. <laughs> okay. I could play chopsticks. No, seriously, I could. I'd be like... <laughs> As you can see, he's going to be just fine. His fever's completely gone. Good, that's good. All right, well, I gotta go take care Deacon, of some shit. like I said before, William really does owe you his life. Boozer doesn't owe me shit. I owe him. Hey, I saved two more. Eddie and Mia would have died without those antibiotics. I just thought you should know. Brian, I'm at one of your beacons, the one outside of Rogue Camp. Drifter, uh, uh, St. John, I mean, uh, copy that. Why am I here? I show, uh, Hilo incoming to that location now. Be ready. O'Brien out. Uh, psh. that's why I'm here. St. John, they should have arrived at your location. Do you see them? Yeah, yeah, kind of hard to miss. What do you need me to do? Get close to the researcher. Remember, you have to stay in their proximity or I can't intercept their data. Okay, yeah, I get it. I need the area secured now. <laughs> and this time, I need you to plan this lockdown. Okay, I okay, gotta let's get place a down. tracker on that chopper. Squad check. Come on, guys. All clear. Just gotta clear. clear out. All clear. Can't let them see me. LZ secure. So what the hell are you boys clear, doing dog. here, huh? I think he could stop and fill up at the old Peltro gas station. I guess he didn't see that sign says gas flow. But now, I'm guessing the guys don't got that problem, do you? You okay? How are you doing? We have now 2060. We've now completed the survey of 24 nesting sites, including those at Marion Forks, the Pioneer Cemetery, the Cascade Highway Lumber Site, truck stop on the old Belknap Road. What was that called again? Ah, uh, Crazy Willies. Yes, very rustic and touristy. Some things about the old world I don't miss. A Crazy Willies, south of the Belknap Crater. I got a question, Doc. Sure, it's not like I'm busy or anything. The nests. Why do they build them? We don't know. Why do they only build them in, you know, buildings, structures, cabins, things like that? We have a theory that never see them where wild animals would build them. Trees or out in the wilderness, only houses. You finished? Sorry. The guys back at the lab have a theory. I'm sure when they're ready to talk about it, they'll come rushing down to the barracks to let you know. Jesus. Just ask it. I see things too, you know. It wasn't always a grunt. You know? Can I continue? Sure. South of Belknap Crater. <laughs> Some areas of the Belknap Wilderness were not surveyed due to the proximity of nesting sites to human encampments. In particular, a large camp at... Salome Hot Springs. Oh, yes. Salome. On Herod's birthday, she danced before them, whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. She said, give me the head of John the Baptist, and the king was struck sad. Write the name for a resort. Some things about the old world they don't miss. Upload complete. Yeah. The Bible? Now they're reciting Bible verses. Jesus, this is taking forever. Uh, How old the hell are we going? Finding time to read. Jesus, O'Brien. Don't. Okay, now I just gotta get the hell out of here before he spots me. It wasn't even my turn on the duty roster. You're always complaining. They see me. Are you 
there. I can't talk right now. I'll be on this channel later. Out. Brian. Oh, God damn it. I'm getting tired of being your errand boy, O'Brien. Hey, I got a job for you. You got a job for me? Yeah. There's a bunch of dead freaks. The west of the footbridge stuck in the muck. I need someone to pull them out and take them to the burn pile. Got it? Marsh duty. Yeah. Get someone else. I'm busy. Hey, I'm getting you to do it. I don't know what Mike told you on your little field trip, but we got work to do. Here. Hey, 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 hey. Schizo. He can't come with you. He's coming with me. Last I checked, I wasn't talking to you. Well, I checked in with Mike. I gotta go into the shit, and he's coming with me. All right? Like I said, I'm busy. Yeah, when you get back, you come find me. You coming? Where? Doesn't matter. Seriously, where are we headed? North. Ricky, I don't have time for your crap any more than schizos. Come on, I'll show you. Mike told me what you did. I didn't do anything. About how if we seal the caves here, we can stop the hordes? Never said it would stop them. Maybe slow them down. <laughs> Look, are you going somewhere with this? Yeah. I just thought that maybe you decided to stay. I mean, not just because of Boozer, but because you wanted to help. Is that what you thought? Hey, back in the day, I did my share of runs. You did, but never anything more than that, and you know it. So now you're helping Iron Mike seal the caves? What did you want me to think? See, a few weeks back, we lost a man when this went down, shutting down the infirmary's respirator. Respirator? Oh, God, Ricky, look around. If you're on a respirator out here, you're already dead. What if it had been Boozer? Yeah, that's what I thought. See, we haven't had power for almost two years, but... The Transformers and the lines, they all check out. Well, at least they do here. I want to ride up north, check out the Hydro Dam, just to see why it's shut down. Oh, no, no, riding escort, that's Schizo's job. I don't need an escort. You lived up there, you know the area better than anyone. Deacon, you asked for my help, right? Now I'm asking for yours. Okay, good. I'm gonna go grab some of the guys nope. that can wreck. No, you're not. No, we're going in quiet. We're running to Copeland's men. I can handle them, but that wilderness up there is crawling with rippers and scumbags and God knows what else. More men, you know what that means? I mean more attention. No, uh-uh, no, we're doing this my way. Shit. Fine, okay, let's go. Look, Ricky, uh, I gotta ask you. The other night, uh, in the infirmary, would I have shot you in the face? No. Really? Oh. From the look on your face, you... I would have taken you outside first and then shot you in the face. <laughs> okay, so you wouldn't, you know, want to get blood all over the infirmary. Uh-huh, exactly. If we get an early start, we can get back before dark. As long as nothing goes wrong. <laughs> well, what can go wrong? Following you. Just follow the route that I marked on your map. There's some marauder camps up there we want to stay away from. Yeah, got it. So how did you end up out here? I never asked you. Same as everyone, I guess. When shit went down, I was 100 miles from home. By the time I got back, everyone was gone. Where are you from? I grew up in a little town outside of Portland. Would work in the city, couch surf, go home on weekends. Big city. Yeah, right. Only in Oregon. What was it like over there? I mean, how did you, uh, how did you get out? I don't know. Luck, I guess. Roads were backed up all the way down the coast. One giant parking lot. Well, that meant Valley was a war zone. Everything happened so fast. I, I, I told my friends to get out when I left. I don't think they listened to me. I, uh, I heard they nuked it. Portland? Yeah, I, I heard that too. Don't think it's true. We'd be feeling the fallout, right? Yeah. So, uh, you and Addy. You got a problem? Me? No. Come on. I just, I didn't know. You rode with us a long time. I guess it, uh, 
I guess it never came up. I was like you. Seemed like, uh, I don't know, keeping your distance was just a good way to stay alive. Okay, look, I shouldn't have asked. None of my business. That's why I'm at the camp. You know, chance to live a normal life again. Good luck with that. It's nothing serious. Me and Addie? Didn't look that way to me. Yeah, well, things happen fast these days. You know what I mean? Didn't ask. I wanted to tell you something. Shoot. I, uh, look, I appreciate you going to bat for me. Uh, for me and Boozer. With Iron Mike, I mean. Wow, you are getting soft. Fuck off. You've never thanked me for anything. Yeah, well, maybe I never had any reason to. Okay. So where did you and Iron Mike go the other day? Wait, you said that he already told you about it. He was pretty tight-lipped. I've known Iron Mike a long time. To be honest, I'm, I don't think I've ever seen him so, I don't know, depressed. Where'd you go? Uh, Sherman's camp. I heard that place was a freak show. It is, but we didn't have much of a choice. I, uh, I had an idea about sealing the caves, keep the hordes from coming through. He knew where the mining claims office was. We picked up some maps. He's gonna track down some explosives. Your radio must be broken. Almost sounded like you volunteered for some shit. I'm riding with you now, aren't I? Jesus. You just wanted out of marsh duty. Okay, you got me. So what happened? Something happened. Nothing, Ricky. Nothing happened. He didn't say anything? Just, no. No. Nothing happened. And no, Iron Mike didn't say anything. Like you said, he's a pretty tight-lipped guy. All right, dam's coming up. Take it slow near the gate. No idea who or what might be living there. Got it. Well, looks clear. Are you expecting trouble? Yeah, always. And if we run into any, we're gone. All right, come on. I want to check the outflow. Where are you going? Down here. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, this isn't right. There should be more water flowing out right there. Yeah? Yeah, and you hear that? What? what? Exactly. If the turbines were running, you'd be able to hear the hum of the lines from here. Mm. Oh. What happened there? Oh. Same thing that happened to all the bridges. Smart men in uniforms decided blowing them up to keep the hordes from coming in. Um, hordes of refugees or hordes of freaks? Oh, you figure men like Copeland? Probably both. Mm. All right, come on, I want to check something out. Come here, touch this. What? Come on. Okay. You... Hmm. you feel anything? No. Exactly. If more water was flowing, the turbines would be vibrating. Come on. <laughs> up this way. We're going all the way up to the top, up there. Following you. See these pipes? They're called the penstock. Water pressure builds up from the reservoir and is pushed down through those pipes, concentrating the force of the flow, which goes right through to the turbines. How the hell do you know all this stuff? I had two older brothers who were always fixing cars and shit with my dad. He got me a job at Boeing when I was only 17. I was going to school part-time to become a mechanical engineer when shit went down. Did you ever see him again? Your dad, brothers? No. Come on, over here. All right, let's figure this out. <sighs> well, this
this is gonna be fun. So now wait, oh, oh. wait, what's, go what's going on? What are you doing? We only rode together a few months, but in all that time, I never saw you volunteer for anything. One of us has to jump down there and clear the intake. So, I'm up. <clears throat> oh, but you can stand and watch. Okay. Oh, it's never, never. Let's go. Yeah, it's it's pretty mucked up. I think I can clear it though. Run back down to the turbine. Could you see if it's vibrating at all. Feel that vibration? Yeah, but the power lines are still dead. What? Man, oh, it couldn't be that easy, right? All right, come on, let's check out the transformers. So, uh, y your dad and your brothers, what happened to them? I don't know. On my way back, I tried calling over and over. I always got a busy signal. By the time I reached the house, it was deserted. The entire neighborhood was deserted. There were flyers everywhere, evacuation orders. I went to the closest refugee camp, but it was overrun. Everyone was dead. Freaks were everywhere. Jesus, Ricky, I'm, I'm real sorry. Yeah, it was a long time ago. But these are the ones feeding the lines going south. Uh, any idea what's wrong with them? No, not a clue. Okay. Well, it might be a short in the turbine junction boxes, so let's just go down and check it out. Okay? Uh, all right. So, uh, what's with you and Schizo? I mean, it seems like you're always on the verge of ripping his throat out. A few months back, Eddie and I caught him hiding outside our cabin while we were bathing. What? God, he's a peeping Tom. I told him if it happened again, he'd find out that my gun is bigger than his. Jesus. You know, if Addie was there, Schizo probably wasn't looking at you. It was all I could do to stop her from neutering the bastard. Ouch. Right? Never piss off a woman who knows how to use this cabin. Here, boost me up. Okay, okay got it. There. Here, I got the gate. Come on, junction room's right around here. Oh, God, what is that smell? Freaker nest. I'm the smell of it more than a couple. Stay close. Molotovs you got with you. Enough. Stay close. How many Molotovs you got with you? Enough. Okay. Remember the drill. You light them up, I knock them down. It's been a while, but I remember. Light her up. Yeah. 
They really don't like visitors much, do they? Well, can you blame them? Whew. Well, they better get used to this shit. You know what? As of today, I'm claiming this for Lost Lake Camp. Power to the people. <laughs> All right, let's check the junction boxes and get the hell out of here. This is it. You ready? Yep. Okay. Damn. <laughs> yes! Houston, we have power. Nice work. Oh, I couldn't have done it without you. Come on, let's find something to block the door in. I don't want to have to come back up here every month to clean this shit out. Wait, wait, wait. You're going to be here in a month? What? No, I, I don't know. Would you just... <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, Beef. Come on. So, why'd you ask about my dad and my brothers? Uh, I don't know. You just, uh, you never mentioned them before, so, um, you know, I'm sorry if I... if it's, uh, something you didn't want to talk about. No, oh, it's fine. In fact, it reminded me of something I wanted to ask you, back when we were riding together. Okay, Ricky. Ricky, not now. You can ask me later. But, no, hey! Hey! Come on, we gotta get moving. Hey, you never asked uh, why I stopped riding with you and Boozer. Was I supposed to ask? I already knew why. Iron Mike's bullshit. God, Ricky, do we gotta do this now? We had been riding together for, I, I don't remember, a couple months. <laughs> do you come on? Okay. Okay. There was this one night, and I remember it really clearly. It was snowing outside, and Boozer was snoring. Remember how he used to snore? I swear, I thought <laughs> he was going to bring a horde down on us, yeah, right? Well, pretty much hasn't changed. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> you thought everyone was asleep, and you were sitting outside by yourself like you always did, and you were staring at something. You didn't sleep the whole night. Let me see the photo, Deke. Come on, please. This is when I knew. What'd you know, Ricky? That I didn't want to end up like so many of us here. We're trapped in the past or running from it. I, I just, I want to look forward. Okay, not back. This isn't what you think it is, okay? Get low! Be on the back! Find them! Are you sure it's them? I saw the mark on his back! We're from Lost Lake Cab! Iron Mike has a treaty! Well, that was a really good idea. You wanna try that again? Stay put. You assholes are kind of far from home, aren't you? What the hell are you doing, buddy? No, 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 no! Drag your asses back to Iron Butte and find the shithole you crawled out Iron from! Iron Mike has a treaty, goddammit. Listen to me. We're from Lost Lake. Far north, aren't you? Well, now you don't want to get too far away from... Arlo's, do you? How about we just leave you here to bleed out, huh? Make all the freaks out here happy, yeah? Huh? Isn't that what you want? You can all just go straight to hell. Oh yeah, nice and good down there for you, huh? Pull back! You heard him. I think that's the last of them. I've seen rippers before, but not like that. What the hell are they amped up on? 
No idea. Back in the day, dealt with a few tweakers who acted like that. I think they're on PCP or whatever that other shit is. Oh, uh, bath salts. Remember? That was becoming a thing before everything went down. Right, yeah. Come on, let's see if they messed up our bikes. Really think that Iron Mike's treaty with these bastards is gonna hold? I don't know. Fucking rippers after what they did to Boozer's arm. After what they did to Dick! Lisa? What? This was clutched in one of their hands. What happened? Did you guys have a run-in, you and Boozer, with, with the rippers before you stole the antibiotics? Well, I... I don't know. Look, whatever Carlos thinks I did... Ain't gonna compare to what I'm gonna do to him if I ever see the son of a bitch. Come on, let's go. Okay, we have to follow the line south. Check the transformers. Make sure they're all good. Okay, I'm following you. I stop you? How'd you end up in the MC? It's a long story. We got a long ride. Okay, I, I was a member of the 10th Mountain, part of a forward unit working with the Northern Alliance. Shit, I didn't know you were in the army. Why were... You want to hear this or not? Sorry. We were advancing on Mazari Sharif. We got ambushed by a group of Taliban heading the other way. And they were in flatbed trucks, decked out with ZU-23s, modified anti-aircraft guns. Big guns. Yeah, really big fucking guns. Our Humvee exploded, went over a cliff, right into the Hari. You know how hard it is to drown in Afghanistan? It's hard. The place is one giant goddamn desert. Anyway, I was thrown clear, and when I came to, the, the Humvee was upside down in the river. I swam out to see if anyone survived. I, uh, I pulled a body back to shore, and I did that seven more times. And by the, by the time I pulled in Tanner, my Sarge, I was done. And when I came home, I don't know, I, uh, I bought a bike, spent a couple of years on the road, just moving from place to place, and, uh... To farewell, you grew up around here, right? Yeah, yeah, okay, so... By the time I finally settled down, I got a job at a bike shop run by this by this old guy named Jack. And uh, he ran the club. The, uh, well, the press. That's what we used to call him. He patched me in himself. Wait, Jack. I remember Boozer talking about him. He was in prison or something. Some bad shit went down, and, and he ended up taking the rap for the club. Sounds like you guys were pretty tight. Let's come back in the morning. You can get whatever tools you need, and we'll finish it up then. There'll be fewer freaks out. So no hot shower tonight? Okay, but I want to show you something first. Well, Ricky, it's been a long day. Come on, you know a lot about the freaks. I just want to show you something you might not know. Come on, we're out here anyway. Shit, okay. Let's go. Can I ask you something? I've got, like I said before, could I stop you? Why are you still flying colors? I don't know what you mean. I mean, why do you still wear the cuts? You and Boozer, it's, it's not like you're trying to recruit anymore or, or staking out territory. No. A couple of guys I worked with at the plant wore colors on the weekend. I asked them about it once, and they said they wore them as a way of saying, fuck you, to, I don't know, cops, authority, the government. So what are you rebelling against? Whatever's left. Look, we wear them because we wear them. What do you want? I mean, no idea about Boozer, but I ain't trying to say shit. It's just... Cut? That's who I am. 
I've done a lot of stupid shit in my life, but joining the MC, well, let's just say that it's one of the few things that I don't regret. Ricky, what are we doing here? I've seen the Nero death trains before and hordes. I know. Not like this. What the fuck? Watch. I've come out here a few times to see them. They stay in those old machine buildings and they come out every night like someone's ringing a dinner bell, right? When it's morning, they go back inside and what? Hibernate? You mean you never went down there to see? Aha. Uh -huh. No. One time I got way too close and a dozen of them started chasing me. It's like poking a hornet's nest. Come on, let's get out of here. It's getting dark. Okay. Okay, anyway, the other day, I, uh, I saw something you won't believe. Really? You want to talk? All right, let's hear it. Wait, let me guess. You saw a Nero helicopter. Wait, uh... How did you know about that? They've been spotted a few times, all over Lost Lake. Shit. Why do you care? It's not like they're here to help us. From the sound of it, they shoot on sight. I don't care. Oh, sounded like you did. Hey, where the hell have you been all day? Nice to see you, too. Yeah, well, Schizo said you and Deacon took off, and I was worried. Addy, I'm tired, okay? Oh, that's rich. Hey, Dee, thank you. Yeah, well, just let me know when you're ready to tackle that Transformer. I'll be around. Sure. It's bullshit. What is your problem? No, no, what is your problem? I just said, I'm tired. That's it. Okay. I'm sorry. Like I said, I, w I was worried. It's not like you to just take off without talking to me. Okay. So that's it? O'Brien, I'm at one of your beacons, the one near Camp Creek. Uh, there's nothing here. Hold on. Uh, okay. A field op should be there any minute. You know the drill. O'Brien out. Yeah, I know the drill. Try not to get my ass shot off while being your goddamn peeping Tom. St. John out. Yeah, so what was that all about? I mean, last time we talked, it sounded like you were pissing your hazmat suit. It's nothing. I told you, there are people above me who don't want us to know what's going on. I got too close. I was too caught. You know what? I don't give a shit. All I want from you is information on Sarah. Let me know when it's clear. Whitaker, I've got someone working on it. It's... it's gonna take time. I guess you have to be patient. Yeah? I got a lot of choice here, do I? This research group isn't part of my unit, so I can't track them after this op. I need you to... Place a tracker on their chopper. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, and you want me to spy on the guy wearing the white space suit? Yeah, anything else? Yeah, try not to get your ass shot off. Your, uh, com was still open before. Don't think of it as, like, being a peeping Tom. It's more like opposition research. O'Brien out. No matter what you what? call it, I'm the one. I'm sure risky. All clear. All good here. Here they come. A bunch of ten soldiers marching around. Oh, Jesus. Like That's right. Subject exhibiting the morphology of stage two infection. Tendons in the hands and fingers are less constricted, fingernails less claw-like, as if recently chewed. 
Additionally, the subject is wearing jewelry and clothing less tattered and worn than... Hey, sorry. Couldn't help overhearing. Ah, the gun-toting biology major. Yeah, something like that. So, it's wearing jewelry. What's the significance of that? These things have been out here for two years, scratching and clawing at us and each other. Yeah. Try putting a gold watch on a baboon for two years. Set it loose in the wild and see what happens to it. Okay, okay, I get your point. This watch looks new. Really? So? So, that means this subject has either been taking care of it, or has recently... Recently put it on? <laughs> Shit, I thought they were all, you know... That shit crazy? Yeah, they are, but... Just as some late-stage dementia patients could still have moments of lucidity, victims of stage 2 virus infections seem to retain some level of vestigial memory. No oh, shit. No shit. Look at its clothes. They're almost clean, right? I mean, not clean, but most freaks are so caked with shit and piss. Yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, well, again, put a pair of pants on a baboon for two years. Jesus. You ever wonder why there's so many more freaks in areas where people used to live? I thought about it. Yeah, I guess they do. Well, what it means is that some freaks get up in the morning, they shower, they get dressed, they put on their favorite gold watch, they kiss their wife goodbye, and then they head out the door for a fun day of eating us and shitting themselves. Why the hell are these guys wasting their time with this shit? <sighs> you got all that, O'Brien. Okay, now well, I just gotta get the hell out of here. Complain to the CO? Do I look like the CO? <laughs> O'Brien, are you there? O'Brien! How long do you think we got? Hold on. How the hell do I know? Yeah, I'm here. Find out your tracking device and I got your data. Search! What? What? Why? What's it up there? Okay, uh, you were saying? Was it a man or a woman? Uh, it was a woman and no, I didn't catch your name. Hey, Deacon, you got a second? How's William? I haven't seen him lately. How's Boozer? How the hell are any of us? He's surviving. Yeah, well, then he's doing better than most. Yeah. Listen, you need to keep an eye on him. What do you mean? Well, losing an arm is a big adjustment. He's given up the life he had. <sighs> Wasn't much of a life, Addy. I... You're his friend. The only one he's got. Come with me, so you gotta send someone who knows her, okay? She's on her way back to camp. Okay. All right, okay. Ricky out. Hey, did someone pick her up? Hey, Deke, yeah, she's fine. A little traumatized, but I guess no more than anyone else. I guess we all know what it's like to lose someone. Yeah, I guess we do. Hey, Boozer. How's the uh, oh, work going? Okay. Well, I'm having a blast. Good luck. Like Love it here. See you later. Okay. That's your best bet. Right there. I don't know about that, Mike. We lost people in there before. We, lo we lost who? When? A few weeks back. Torres and Evans, looking for supplies. I told you that no, they No, were... goddammit, you didn't! I told you that we went after them, but the entrance uh, was caved in. Their bikes were outside, but the place was crawling. Do you remember? I don't even know if they made it inside. What's the trouble? Uh, we just... We're going over the papers, the ones from Sherman's camp. Mm -hmm. 
There's a mine that was getting ready to expand. Sure, and there's probably explosives stored on site. Yeah. Except now Schizo tells me we may have lost two men on the inside. Hey, I never said that, Mike. Well, look, I, give me the map, I'll go get the explosives, and Mike, hey, people will. inside. What the hell is going look, on? You may trust him, Mike, but I don't. Tell me, how much is Tucker paying for a box of TNT these you days, huh? Hold on, he's doing his part. Oh, really? He's doing what? Besides breaking the treaty with the Rippers, skipping work, staying out with Ricky all day, what's he been doing, huh? What you been doing, huh? Sitting on your ass while everyone does all the work. I keep this camp safe mm. from marauders, thieves, and drifters. Don't you knock it off. Knock it off! Hey, you don't trust him? You go with him. Do you remember some? Both of you, remember, we are all part of the same camp. That's fine. Fine by me. In the morning, we'll take our bikes and we'll go. We'll go right now. <laughs> now. Yeah. Now. In the middle of the night. Sure. You know, it's dark out. There'll be less freaks inside the mine. Oh, that's right. Oh, since you've been skipping work, you've been chasing their black choppers, and now you're some kind of freak expert. Don't need it? to be a fucking expert to know the freaks come out at night. Oh, okay. oh yeah? Come on, enough already! Okay. Okay. You want to go now? We'll go now. But I'll hold on to this. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Hey, look, he's got his issues, just like everybody else does. But he does his job. <laughs> Tell that to Torres and Evans. <laughs> Don't be such a stranger. Where are we going? Lucky lad, know where it is? Yeah. <clears throat> I'll be waiting for you. Yeah, try to keep up. Deacon, you there? This is Lost Lake Camp. Over. Yeah, Ricky. What's up? I stopped by to see you. Obviously, you're not there. Schizo and I are on a run for Iron Mike. I'll be back by morning. What's up? I just wanted to see when we could get out and fix that transformer. <laughs> that hot shower is still calling your name? Something like that. <laughs> we'll be back by morning. Talk to you. Keep getting out. You were gonna be waiting for me. I got sidetracked. So these belong to Mike's men? My men? But yeah. Torres and Evans. They weren't drifters, but they'd been out in the shit a few times. I thought they could handle it. I guess you were wrong. Shit's already been parted out. Goddamn scavengers everywhere. Because why wouldn't you bring their ship back with you when you were out here looking for them? Because there were too many freaks. <laughs> That's why. Like them. Only a lot more. Come on. Flares are over here. Yeah. Give me the keys. What, you mean like these keys? Yeah, kind of. Hey, 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 I got an idea. How about you lead us to the strong boxes, I'll unlock them. You got a problem with that? No problem. Just don't lose them. Mm. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna keep that in mind. I got them. Let's head in. Right behind you. See? It's just like I said. Looks like we should be able to squeeze in through here. Give me a hand. Here, push! I'm pushing, I'm pushing! There! Wedge it against that boulder. You got it! There! 
look stable to you. <sighs> stable enough. Remember, keep your gun holstered. I thought you said it was gonna be clear! I never said that. And I mean it, if there are any freaks in here, one shot, we'll bring them right down on our heads. I heard you already. Jesus. Okay, first expansion area is right off the main shaft. Come on this way. Right behind you. Ah, shit, we're not getting none of that. Look at the map. Is there another tunnel? A ventilation shaft? Map shows they started a connecting tunnel here. Looks like it was unstable, so they boarded it up. Where? Uh, back this way. <laughs> There's a reason they never completed any of this expansion work. I mean, it seems like one stick of dynamite will bring this whole place down on our heads. Uh, doesn't seem so bad. Shit now! Come on. This way. Come here. What? These are men. Yeah. Every time I saw Torres, he had on this same damn vest. I kept telling him. Well, bright orange is gonna get you killed, bro. I guess it didn't matter in here. His buddy lost the arm, blood out, and kept Taurus fed for a week. You ever resort to that? A few lines I haven't crossed, that's one of them. Yeah. He, uh... Stand back. I'm not leaving him for the freaks. Let's get the hell out of here. This is it. What do we got? I'm sorry, did you not believe me? Sure, I believed you. Come on. Maybe they put them all in one place. Go check the other one. This way. Who the hell's in here? Come on out! Show yourself! Just who put that thing away. What are you talking about? What I'm talking about is one shot. One. It's all it takes to bring all the freaks in these tunnels down on top of us. Well, I thought you said these tunnels will be clear this time. No. <laughs> what the hell? Look out! I can't get a shot! Oh, God damn it! God damn it, it's got the keys! Shit!
if you fired your weapon. What was I supposed to do? Throw rocks at him? I'm supposed to do is you're supposed to fucking listen to me. Next time, try this. Whatever. You're welcome. For what? For saving your ass. If you hadn't run off, my ass wouldn't need it saving. <laughs> Will you really fucking finish this? Yeah. I'm ready. This way. This ought to make the old man happy. Shit's heavy. What are you talking about? You know the old man. Same with me. I got this. Yeah. Nice. He thinks that his treaty with the Rippers is gonna keep us safe. The thing is, they don't give a shit about any treaty. The only reason they haven't come down here in force is because they're too busy up north, hitting Copeland, the hot springs. Yeah, I know I was there. So you know what I'm talking about. The Rippers are coming. And Iron Mike is just gonna let it happen. He's gonna let those bald-headed freak alikes wash over us like a goddamn red tie. Excuse me, so you don't know that. All right. Come on. Jesus, never thought I'd be so glad to see the light of day. Shit, something else we agree on. That's twice in one day. Hold up for a second. Someone out there. Hey, buddy. Someone's inside. Hey, what you hiding out there? Oh. Sit in your pants. Come on now. Find the Rounders. Yeah, come on. Find him. Join up with us. Yeah, you got it. Lay it in. Ah, give it to him. Sister, I thought you just wanted to talk. Well, I guess that's all I gotta say. Hey, there's something I gotta say. When you and Boozer rode into camp and Iron Mike welcomed you back again with goddamn open arms, I thought it was another sign the old man was losing it. Going soft. Okay, what's your point, Skizo? My point is that you and me, we see eye to eye. I get that now. You know, same as me. If Iron Mike don't wake the hell up, the camp's not gonna last another six months. Okay, still waiting for your point. Look, I know I've been busting your balls. We both know that. But 
A lot of people know what you've done. For your friend. How you been doing shit for the camp. Changes are coming, brother. When Iron Mike retires, let's call it, I say you and me, we step up and run the camp together. You and me? Run the camp? <laughs> That's really what you wanted to talk hey, to me about. Hear me out, goddammit. <laughs> Just listen to me a minute. Uh -huh. Look, I got a lot of friends on the camp council, and they agree. Most of them say the old man's gotta go. Yeah, that's bullshit because Ricky would never go for it. She's as soft as and the old Mike man. And Mike trusts you. you. Well, that's his mistake. One of many. Well, it ain't gonna be mine. Look, we all do things to survive, CSO. I get that. You remember how I said there's some lines I ain't crossed? Stabbing a friend in the back? That's one of them. Better one old man. In the entire camp. You think about that. Where's Boozer? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I thought he was with you. Yeah, he was, and then he, he took off. Some shit. Excuse me, what the fuck are you telling me? Get off me! Look, he grabbed a bottle of whiskey, he said he was going home. I don't know. Motherfucker, and you didn't even try to stop him, did you? Hey! We tried! <laughs> you gotta know when to cut a man loose. You gotta know when a man's done. Boozer, you there? Boozman. Uh, yeah, Deke. Yeah, Deke. Oh, I'm here. Where the hell are you? It's, it's getting dark out. Where? Where? I'm at the farm. I'm at the, f the farm. Jesus, stay there. I'm coming to get you. Just, just stay here. I got it. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Piece of cake. All right, here's the farm. This is where Ricky said the work crew was. Boozer! You there? Boozman! Damn it. Okay, here's the farm. Hey, where's Boozer? Who? Ah, there's no one here. Work crew's gone home for the day. No, he's still here. The, the big guy with one arm. Yeah, yeah, I know who you mean. He headed off that way, towards the old farmhouse. Thought he was getting a ride there. If you see him, tell him, tell him to stay here. Radio me or Ricky. Sure, man. Whatever. Boozer! Are you in here? This looks like it. Good book to read. Whiskey bottle. Empty. Wait a second.
Boozer. Booze, man. Hey, Nick. <laughs> How's it going, brother? It said you were at the farm. I just left, and you are not at the farm, Boozer. Uh, wait. Oh. Oh, the other farm. I'm, um, I, I, I went to the other farm. I found a sixer, <laughs> so I thought I'd go for a walk, you know, like just no walk at sunset. So uh, I just walked to the other farm, you know. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. He had, he had, ah, shit. Ah. Jesus, Boozer, what are you doing? Which way? And another beer bottle. That's wet or oh, I'm not gonna ask. <laughs> Boozer, where are you? Booze! Dick? I, I thought you were gonna come um, have a beer with me and take a walk. Boozer, just where are you? Would you look around? Did you tell me what you see? What's nearby? Give me a give me a landmark or something. Already told you. Oh. oh, look at that shit. Get what, Boozer? What do you see? The road. The road. Wow, this is just, just gone. Like, like somebody came and just like, swept it away. The road's gone. Oh yeah. The the like somebody came and just swept it away. Gone. Stay right there. Just stay where you are. Get down. Get out of sight. Listen for my bike. I'm coming. I'm not hiding from no one. I'm going home. Dude. Home. Damn it, Boozer. What's that? A little late for a stroll. Hey, Dig. How's it going, old buddy? Boozer, where are you going? Home. Oh, that's where I'm going. Home. Oh, well, we can't home. go back to O'Leary Mountain. No, I'm not going to fucking O'Leary Mountain. I'm going to farewell. Shit, come on. We gotta get you to be no. doing it. You wanna take a swing at me? Fine. Get in line behind them. Bring it! Okay. So this is it? This is how we're going out? out no, here, no, I don't think so. Huh, Boozer? Huh? Bro? Boozer? The nice year old lady was killed. What did I say to you? What did, you what did I say to you, huh? I found you halfway through a case of whiskey. You're gonna drink yourself to death. What did I say to you? You grabbed a bottle, and you chugged it. It was a lot of goddamn whiskey. And you told me that if I was gonna drink myself to death, you'd be right there with me. So that's what brothers do. So like I said, Boozer, is this it? That's how we're going out. Let's get that one out of here. Go, go, go! I'm going! Go faster then. Ah. Cars! Wrecked cars. I see them, Boozer! Of them. Uh, we're gonna be okay. I, I knew. I knew it all along. Hey, hey, D. Boozer, listen. I just want to say thank you, man. I mean it. Boozer, uh, just listen, goddammit. You came out here and you saved my sorry ass. Again. 
I owe you, brother. I owe you. No, no, Boozer. I owe you. All right, look. If it weren't for you, I, uh, I would have been dead a long time ago. Or worse. I thought you said there was nothing worse than being dead. Yeah, well, I was wrong. You got someone at the gate. Mr. Deacon St. John. You gonna be okay? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, I hear a bunk calling my name. Hey, Ricky, I, uh, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, what's up, Deke? Um, it's about Boozer's arm. Uh, I saw that hook that you made for him, and, uh, it's great, but, uh, don't you think it might be better if, instead of a hook, I don't know, maybe with something like a knife or a blade or something, you know? Oh, uh, oh hold on. Oh, thank you. So, oh. if it oh, I'm sorry about that. So, uh... You, you want me to, you want me to create a prosthetic blade for Boozer? Well, yeah, I just thought I might cheer him up, make him feel, you know, more of a... You want me to weaponize Boozer? I wouldn't put it that way. I'm just fucking with you, Deke. I think uh, it's a great idea. Uh, I will go check some parts, and I will radio what I need. Cool? Okay. Okay. Uh. Hey, Deke, I got a good one for you. Mike, hey, what's up? Ricky handed me a shopping list. Said it was for Boozer. Said I should radio you. Okay, where's Ricky? Something came up with Addie, I don't ask. Anyway, she needs a galvanized metal pipe, tube, kind used in building. She needs a carbon alloy blade, the kind hunters use, and finally some metal scrap. That list make any sense to you? Uh, yeah, Mike, like you said, I don't ask. <laughs> Deacon out. Okay, what do I need? I need a blade or metal tube, scrap. Ah, Jesus, Ricky. Metal tube, metal tube. Can't just be any metal tube, can it? Gotta find one from, uh... Construction site. Wait, 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 hold on a second. There was a house um, under construction at the very forks, but I can find Stop something that. there. Here we go. Oh, that'll do it. All right, what have we got? You're mine now. Here we go. Oh, this ought to be enough. Now, uh, I just gotta get all this crap back to Ricky. Hey. Hey. I got those parts that you asked for. Oh, great. Well, uh, check back in a few. I'll see what I can do, yeah? Uh, Ricky. Thanks. Yeah. Boozer's one of us now. Right in the okay. crease there. Okay, got it. Let me secure it in, okay? There you go, that's better. Okay. Hey, brother. Look what oh. Ricky did. What? Made me a new toy. Oh, I was all Deacon. <laughs> oh, that's he really, really that. cool, Boozer. Hey, uh, I could have been one of those, yeah. those three goddamn musketeers. Oh, On guard, you <laughs> fucking <laughs> ripper. Right. Pretty oh, hey. Jesus. Oh, whoa, whoa. oh well, maybe hey. this wasn't that good of an idea? Yeah, maybe. Damn it. Okay. St. John, you there? It's O'Brien. Hold on. O'Brien, I'm sick of doing your dirty work. You got news for me or not? Yeah, I, I mean, yes, I have news. Well, then what is it? I need you to do one last job. Were you listening to what I was just saying? I'm done with one this. One more job, then I'll meet you in person, show you what I got. Forget it. Her middle name. It was Irene. Right? Sarah, Irene, Whitaker. It's on her admission form. 
One last job. One last job. I sent you the coordinates. O'Brien out. Hey. Hey. You headed somewhere in a hurry? Yeah. You remember that Nero bastard I told you about, O'Brien? Well, it looks like he's got some news for me, but I gotta do one last job for him first. Yeah. Okay. You should come with me. Yeah? Nah, I... Skizzle's got me on farm duty. Feeding the world one shitty weed at a time. Fuck Skizzle, I'll drop you off right afterward. When's the last time you saw a helicopter? I'll tell him he twisted my arm. Never gets old, <laughs> does it? I used to be a cop. Where are we headed? Farewell. Over toward Malakwa Lake. You know where that is? Yeah, it's just north of the Rogue Tunnel off of Waldo Road. So what are we doing there? The Nero Chopper's gonna be on the ground doing whatever the hell it is that they do. O'Brien wants me to see what they're up to. So, O'Brien, he's, uh, he's what? Your, your shot caller? Handler? No! Jesus, Boozer, you know why the hell we're out here. Just asking. Seems like he tells you to jump, you ask how high. It's not how it is. So how are you holding up? Not bad. Uh, it's been worse, you know. I actually don't mind working the farm, all weeds and shit. Reminds me of when I was a kid. I used to go out to my uncle's farm out at, uh, by Adrian, on the Idaho border. I'd spend summers working the beet fields. That yeah, little dirt bike I took around on. That's where I learned to ride. If you're not careful, I'm gonna start calling you Farmer Bill. When we get to that site, stay close. Whatever happens, don't let them see you. They can get a little trigger happy. Okay, okay, got it. Stay down, keep my mouth shut, don't get us killed. Hey, thanks for bringing me along, Deke. It's good to get out again. Even riding bitch, you know? <laughs> yeah. I need the area secured now. Spread out, okay, this shit stay down. close. Right behind clear. you. I haven't heard that for a while. Yeah, there it is. Jesus. Never thought I'd see one of those again. In the air, I mean. All right, now watch. Soldiers come out first, they secure the LZ. And their boy genius, researcher, scientist, whatever the hell, he comes out and he looks around. Do what? Whatever science shit they're doing out here. How the hell do I know? Clear over here. Clear over here. Yep, clear. Okay, wait here. You got it. Hey, what you got there, Doc? Really? <laughs> okay, if you must know. Picking up scat samples. You mean shit? Yes. Freak shit? Yes. <laughs> so, we're out here in the middle of nowhere. So, you can pick up freak shit. Precisely. <laughs> okay. Now said. Field note 2102. After analysis of scat samples from zones 2, 3, and 4B, there is clear evidence of Claytonia perfoliata. What's that? Commonly known as miner's lettuce, and please don't interrupt, as well as manicious berries from Juniperus communis. So, why do we care? Why do we care? Because it means the freaks are eating more than just us and each other. They're eating berries, plants, grass, needles, basically anything a deer would eat. They're omnivores, just like us, but with stomachs that can digest a much wider range of cellulose. Yeah, okay. And what? It means they're not gonna starve when they run out of us to eat. <laughs> Freaks aren't going away anytime soon. Shit. That's bad. Yeah, that's bad. I'm done here. Okay. Uh, head 
back to the bike. Civilian, okay. I am not going to ask. Uh, head back to the bike. Yeah, okay. You catch any of that over my radio? That's pretty fucked up. Good taxpayer money and they're out here collecting freaker shit. Yeah, I told you. Who knows what they're doing or why? Oh, they gotta have a base around here somewhere, right? You try following them? Yeah, but they always disappear over the mountains heading south. And with the highway choked off, I can never get close. Sons of bitches. Seems like they got a lot to answer for. Yeah. Where are we headed now? It's a good question. O'Brien, are you there? Come in, O'Brien. I'm here. Finished? Yeah, it's done. Where am I meeting you? I wasn't expecting you so soon. I'm sending you the coordinates now, but it might take a few minutes to get there. O'Brien out. Jesus, what the hell does he think I've been doing out here? Hey, you're right about one thing. He does sound like an asshole. Wait here. I don't want him getting skittish because I brought someone along. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on the bike. I've seen enough Nero assholes for one day. Okay, I'll be back. O'Brien said he had news. He knew her middle name. Irene. She can't be alive. But he's alive. Why not her, huh? There he is. Yo. Shit. Gotta stop doing that. What you got? All right, look. I'm gonna lay it out for you, but it's not good news. I finally found a guy who was willing to do some digging through some files that we, they, they used to keep while they still kept records. Okay, no problem. Anyway, uh, Sarah Whitaker, your wife, was admitting to the Camp Mash unit on the South Flats outside of Silver Lake. Uh, according to the records, she was in surgery for six hours and then was moved okay, to... So she survived. The stab wound, she survived. Yeah, yeah. According to the records, she made a full recovery, and then she was moved to another camp on the outskirts okay. of Jamal. Okay, so, so she could still be alive, even after all this time, she could still be alive. You're saying no. What do you mean no? It was overrun. Everything was overrun. There were no survivors. You survived. They survived. Look, 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 there was nothing that would have protected that camp, okay? Highway 97 w w w is an artery. Infected freaks poured up from L.A., from the Bay Area, from Sacramento. There were thousands and thousands and thousands of them. There was, there was nothing we could do. I get it. So you bugged out. Who did you bring with you? Uh, Nero personnel. Some feds. People with clearance. Nero personnel? The soldiers? The guys with the guns? 
The guys who should have been protecting no, no, the civilians. There's nothing that you can do against a horde. Oh, They're no, too I strong. I know all about fast. hordes. Well, they knew that there was nothing that we could do. Oh, you know what you could have done? You could have brought a few of them with you. You could have saved a few lives. There was no hope. There was no time. There was no room. Okay, there was, we had already turned on each other by the time the hordes arrived. No, I get it. I'm sorry about your wife. I'm sorry about all of this. But you gotta understand. If you hadn't sent her with me that night, she would have been dead the next morning. You did the right thing. <laughs> You know, if you had decided to stay, the only thing that would have happened is you'd be dead right alongside her. Don't you think I know that? <sighs> O'Brien. Thank you for saving her life that night. So you're sorry. Is that it, O'Brien? You're sorry? Oh, damn it. Whole thing's a waste of my goddamn time. Oh, what the hell? Boozer? Boozer? Oh, God damn it, Booze, man. Where the hell did you go? Ah, oh, shit. Deke! Over here! Oh, Jesus, Boozer, what the hell? I figured I'd do a little shopping while we were out, and I ran into a pack of rippers hunting dogs. Oh, easy, fella. He's not infected. He's, he's just a dog. They're hunting down and killing healthy dogs. No, just, no, we can't. We can't leave him here, Deke. Uh, we just, we can't. We can't do it here. Here, let me, uh, let me do it. Really? You, you can. Okay, boy. Okay, easy. It's okay. All right, just hold oh, on. Jesus, this. Deke. It's okay, okay, just that's it. All right, it's okay, big guy. Rest. You ready? Oh, yeah, brother. I'm ready. What the hell? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. I think that's the last of them. Oh, you sound disappointed. Well, I just... I hate those sons of bitches, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on. Let's, uh... Let's get the hell out of here. So what the hell happened back there? You seem sort of... I don't know. Like, uh... Like you lost it. Uh, I don't know. I guess I just... I needed some payback for this shit. But, uh, there's never gonna be enough payback, is there? You know?
If you hadn't made this shift for me, my arm, I mean, I don't know where I'd be. You know. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, it's not like I got a choice. Yeah, okay, come on. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, uh, what go? You know, goddamn well, your guy in the spacesuit, what'd he say? Ah, oh, it doesn't matter. Hey, come on, goddammit. <sighs> Boozer, you really don't want to be doing that right now. Oh, yeah? You think I need more than this to take down your scrawny little ass? Come on, what'd he say? Drop it. Seriously, what happened to Sarah? Huh? Where's your old lady? Where's your old lady? Huh? Stay down, brother. <laughs> Had enough? Where's your old lady, Deke? She's dead, Boozer. Sarah's dead. Yeah, and she's been dead a long time. So don't you think that you've mourned her long enough? Have a hell of a left hook, asshole. Oh. Yeah, it's the only move I got. <laughs> Come on, man. Oh. I gotta get my sorry ass back to work. Camp ain't gonna feed itself. Okay. Yeah. It's the only move I got. Still, I tagged your ass with it three times oh, in a row. Oh, fucking shameful. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we headed? Back to camp. No, no. I still gotta work a shift. Give me a ride up there. It's it's just north of Sherman's camp. Okay. So, she died that night, and there was nothing you or anyone could have done about it. I should have been there. And what good would that have done? Just drop it, it's done. Schizo, you there? Lost Lake Camp, Schizo. Yeah, yeah, what's up? We just had a run in with some... Hey, where the hell is you, bro? He skipped work duty today. What the hell, man? We just, just shut up and listen to me. I was giving him a ride to the work site, and we were attacked by rippers. Oh, Jesus. Where? Outside of Rogue Camp. You gotta tell Iron Mike. Carlos is coming, and he is not going to stop. What do you think I've been telling him? For months? Yeah, I'll let him know. We're heading toward Tumalo now. Boozer will be at the site in a few minutes. Well, that's great, because he owes the camp another half shift for the work he's missed. Shut up, Schizo. Hey, Deke. Uh, road camp is kind of in the opposite direction of Tumalo, isn't it? We took the scenic route. Out. Asshole. Goddamn Schizo. Come on, you guys. Come on, keep working. Keep at it. We don't work, we don't eat. Right already. That's it. Hey. Thanks for the ride. We all start. Here you go. Take John to Lost Lake Camp. Come back. Deke, I hear you. Mike. Good. Look, Boozer and I, uh, we just had a run-in with Rippers. They... Uh... Rippers? God damn it, you boys crossed the Iron Ridge! Dick, I told you! Well, just listen. No, Mike. 
They were here, in Rogue Camp. Rogue Camp? There were Rippers in Rogue Camp? You sure it was Rippers? Am I sure? Oh, Jesus, Mike, yeah. They're kind of hard to miss, you know, with the scars and acting crazy, killing anything that moves. All right, just calm down. Now, we got a parlay with Carlos. Schizo's heading over to Iron Butte tomorrow. He'll find out what the hell's going on, and then we'll... You're sending Schizo to parlay with Carlos, Jesus, Mike. Don't tell me how to run my camp, Deke. Like I said, my treaty is gonna hold. Lost Lake out. Hell, whatever you say, Mike. Whatever you say, Schizo's right. You're gonna get everyone killed. What the fuck? You... you've each prepared your own vow? Well, uh, traditionally, the... the groom goes first. <laughs> uh. I'll, I'll go first. Deacon. I'm so sorry that no one came. I guess we really pissed off everyone. On both sides. I mean, not everyone. But I want you to know that that's how much you mean to me. That I would give up anything for you. Anything. <sighs> this ring is a symbol of my love. And it is precious. Has no beginning and no end. I love you. Shit. Get the bastard! Kill them! Get in there. I need cover and fire! This ring is my promise that I'm always going to love you. And I ain't ever going to leave you. But you, you may kiss the bride. Oh, wait, wait a second. Here, you can have this one back, but only if you promise to ride me as much as you ride your bike. <laughs> well, I now pronounce you man and, well, wife. Okay, I'm gonna just go.
Don't worry. This is never gonna happen again. Got what you need? Yep, everything I could think of. Let's go. Oh, you sound pretty excited. It's the candle, Deke. What? The old saying, it's better to light one candle than curse the darkness. We've spent the last two years doing a whole lot of cursing. We get the lights on at last leg and... That's lighting our first candle. Yeah, only one problem with that. And what's that, Deke? Lights attract all kinds of nasty bugs, and they make it way easier for him to find you. Okay, to fix this thing, I gotta climb up there. <laughs> Have you done this before? Nope, but there's a first time for everything, right? Right. Okay, come on, boost me up. All right, ready? Uh-huh. One, two, three! If you fuck... Oh. Well, that was fun. Yeah, we're gonna have to come out and do this again sometime. Yeah, I'll talk to Schizo about getting some barbed wire around this. It'll keep the newts off. Yeah, sounds like the kind of shit job he likes to give me. <laughs> You'll live. Come on, I gotta check something else out. So? Your old lady? Okay, how the hell did... It's not hard to put two and two together, Deke. How you lost her at that refugee camp. The one north of Belknap. And in the last few weeks, we've seen Nero choppers in the air, and you were hoping for what? A miracle? That she was with them somehow? Something like that. But she's not. No. I'm sorry. Look. It's not a big deal, so let's just drop it. Okay. Hey. Wow. Word gets around. I'm almost ready. Power to the whole resort is routed through here. I pulled the breaker a week ago so it wouldn't short out. Okay. Ready when you are. All right. Let's listen up. Okay, now the past few months have been tough. Not gonna deny that. We're low on food, medicine, hell. Pretty much everything. But we got one thing in spades. And without that, everything else is meaningless. That one thing is trust. Yeah. Now a while ago, we had some more drifters right into camp. Some of you said kick them out. We ain't got enough for ourselves. Some of you said we can't trust them. Tonight is proof of what I've been saying all along. We need everyone. I mean everyone who is willing to be here, who is willing to work, who is willing to help us rebuild. Now, for the past couple of months, Ricky has been doing just that. But she can't do it alone. She needs help. The night is going to happen because we welcomed a drifter into our camp. And we allowed him to earn our trust. Tonight, we take one more step out of the darkness! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Thank you! Thank you! Oh, oh my god! Hey, 
That's your cue. Yeah. Uh, good Ooh, night. Oh, hey. What happened? That's uh, nothing. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's go see Addy. Addy? Addy! Now the lights are up. I don't think she's here. Addy, you here? Okay, well, strip. Strip, strip what? Take your shirt off, sit on the table. Hey, look, it's nothing. Deacon, do you want an infection? Mm hmm I may be an engineer, Deke, but that does not mean uh -huh, that I don't know how to treat a cut. Yeah, I never would have guessed the way that you were caressing those switches and circuits or whatever the hell you were doing. <laughs> All right, this <clears throat> might hurt just a little bit. Ready? Oh, Jesus. Okay. Really? No, I want to just wait for Addie to come back, just, huh? Shh. Hang on. There. It's done. Big baby. So I told you it was nothing. <laughs> yeah, you did. <clears throat> oh, wow. You really have been at war. Yeah, more than one. Shit, that's right. Where was this one? Afghanistan or the MC or after? I, uh, I don't remember. What about this one? Ricky, uh, I'm not sure that, uh, well, I heard that Addie doesn't really like, um, people messing around in her. Yeah, I, I heard that too. What about this one? Dick, I'm not married. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you come back tomorrow and see Addie, and she's gonna tell you how great of a job I did. Ricky, um... Deke, it's, it's, it's fine. You're welcome. Hey, Deacon? <clears throat> Maybe one day, stop and light a candle. It can get pretty dark and cold out there. Addie. Hey, Deacon, how can I help you? Uh, it's Boozer. Is he okay? He's, yeah, not well. He's not. He's not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. Well, I told you that it was going to be a big adjustment. Do you have any drugs around here? Like antidepressants, something like that? No. Sorry. Okay. Wait. I heard about what happened. How we went after those guys who were killing those dogs. Yeah, and he nearly got us killed while doing it. Well, maybe that's your answer. Nearly getting us killed while doing it? Look, what does William love so much that he'd be willing to risk his own life? He doesn't need something to heal his body. He needs something to heal his soul. I got it. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, buddy. Hello. How's it going, pal? Come here. Hey, buddy. Hello. Come here, buddy. Hi. Hello. All right, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, my God. All right, all right, all right. Fine. Have it your way. Okay. Hey.
Hey. Huh? What? Wake up, oh. you lazy bastard. What's going on, man? What the hell's this? Shit. Oh, shit. Hey. Hey, how you doing, little guy? Hey, oh, easy, easy. Hey, 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 go on. Hold on, huh? Where'd you come from? Don't look at me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, you look a little thirsty. Let's, uh, let's get you some water. How's that sound? Here, what do you want? Hold on. Come on, in here. Excuse me, what's going on? Well, if you go inside, I'll show you. Hey, I've been thinking about your idea. You know the one where you want to seal the cave north of the camp to cut down on the hordes passing through our farm area? Okay. Problem is... Mike hasn't been able to find any deck cord for this, has he? No. But I know where you can get some. Right here. No. <laughs> no I know what you're no. thinking. I get it. No, that's okay. in the middle of Ripper territory. Last time I went through there, You got it didn't... meds that saved your boy's no. life. We get the deck cord, we blow the cave, boom, goodbye oh. horde. Uh -huh. It was your goddamn idea! Look, they have sealed the goddamn border. They sealed the tunnel. If I go through there, I'm starting a war. I Excuse got me. a plan. Besides, I'm going with you. Keep your ass out of trouble. Just grab as much gear as you can. Hopefully we won't need it, but you never know. And then meet me here. Because there's a trail that goes over Iron Ridge. What? Right there. What are you talking about? Just trust me. Jesus. You in? I'll see you there. Hey, what are you doing? What we're gonna do is go in through their goddamn back door. On foot? You never told me we were going on foot. Remember what happened the last time you took your noisy ass bike in there? Good point. Hey, they'll never even see us. So, uh, Iron Mike said that he sent you to parlay with Carlos? Wait, the old man told you that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Okay. I guess there's no harm in you being in the know, <laughs> seeing as how you and your bro are part of the camp now. Oh, must have gone well, seeing as how we're just going in through what? What'd you call it? Their goddamn back door? The meet and greet? Oh, yeah, it went swell. Like trying to negotiate with a barrel of monkeys all whacked out on PCP. But you know what? Long as we don't get caught tonight, the old man's treaty might just hold after all. Even though Boozer and I just had a run in with them at Rogue Camp. Hey, Carlos said that was a mistake. Some rogue rippers. Get it? Anyway, he said it wouldn't happen again. And you believe him? <laughs> what the hell do I know? I'm just one of Mike's flunkies. Same as you. <clears throat> Shit. You hear that? Yeah, wolves. You think they're infected? Yes, we're gonna find out. How'd you get through before? Yeah, there used to be a, an old wooden ladder left by miners or spelunkers or some shit. Come on, over here, boost me up. You ready? Yeah. Go. <laughs> Got it. Look around down there. See if that ladder's there somewhere. I'll take a look up here. Okay, hurry it up. We gotta be in and out of Ripper territory before it gets light. Yeah? Tell me something I don't know. Wolves! Look out! I got him! Who's that?
last of them. Schizo. Schizo, where the hell are you? Hold on, hold on, I got it. Watch your head. Got it. Found a map in Mike's papers. Showing some of these old Forest Service trails. I'm sure Iron Mike loves you rifling through his shit. What the old man doesn't know won't hurt him. Sure. Anyways, you can see the trail's in bad shape. It was marked on the map as closed. See that? Yeah, a ripper bonfire. You ever seen one before? No. They call it a gathering. Heard they do all kind of messed up crap. <laughs> Let's go around. I don't want any part of that. How with that? I want to see it. What? You got a death wish? Not anymore. Look, I just I want to see for myself what these assholes go through. You know, rest in peace, get low, all that shit. Okay, okay, but you stick with me. We get separated, and we're in deep shit. <laughs> Following you. Here to start a war. Give me a second. Give me a second. Oh, Jesus. Somebody. Someone, please. Come on. Please. Come help on, we gotta me. go. No, no, no. We're not leaving her to the freaks. What? No. This is Jesus, we are not leaving. This is not why we are here. Sweetheart, sweetheart? 
It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Help me, we can get in through here. No, I don't know, man. Come on. Fine. Are we still going in there? We got a choice. You ready? You get under, I'll hold it. No, 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 you go. I got it. Go. Go, go, go. Okay. Hey, hold it for me. Ah, oh, shit. God damn it. Oh, yeah, it's jammed. Pull. Yeah, it's jammed. Okay. No, that's all right. All right, uh, go around. I'll find a way to open the side door from here. Deke? Deke! Deke! Oh, shit. Locked inside a warehouse with a bunch of pissed off newts. What do you think's going on? Got it. Here, here, the door's unlocked. Jesus. You okay? Yeah, just a little newt, right? Come on. Yeah, let's just uh, find the dead cords. Hey, this has got to be it. Bingo. Here, hold this open while I grab it. Why don't I just grab it? Why you still want to trust me? As a matter of fact, I do. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Schizo, I, uh, I just want to say thank you. Nah, nah, man. For coming out here with me, helping out. Jesus, just... Uh... No, I mean it. I mean, we weren't exactly welcome Lost Lake. Just drop it, okay? All right, 
Skizzle, once we get back to camp, why don't you look? What are you doing? Do you know who I am? No. I thought rivers don't have names. We are on the path. My followers. My followers have all given up their names. Except for me, for now. Uh-huh. Carlos. <laughs> Jesse, what the fuck? I kept my name, and I kept my memories. Of how you and Boozer and Jersey Jim held me down. What, well, Jack? Took a torch to my back. Jesse, that was a long time ago. We didn't really. Oh, oh. oh, yeah. I remember screaming, it's okay. I also remember something else I learned that day. Something important. Everything about you. Everything that you who you are. Oh, it can be burned away. Until nothing remains but your name. That's what the freaks are, you know. I learned that too. That's why we need to be just like them. Doug, if we're gonna do this, you're gonna talk me to death. Oh, we are gonna do this. Deacon St. John. We are not gonna do this alone, no, are we? No, no you! Oh! Oh! We're gonna do this without booze, are we? We gotta finish this together, the three of us. No, no! One down. And what? About a dozen to go. Maybe more. What are the odds? The three of us, you, me, Boozer, still alive, brought together here at the end of the world. What the fuck have you done to Boozer? Oh. He's not here yet, but he will be, soon enough. <clears throat> it is you. I saw them bring you in. No. That's not my name. I'm on the path. I don't have a name anymore. None of us do. Everyone I ever cared about is dead. Lisa. Lisa, don't make Do you know? Why we want to be like them? Like the freaks? No. It's because they don't remember what they've lost. Who they've lost. Ha ha ha!
Question for you. What's the deal? Huh? You just drag people in here, fuck with them, steal their shit, and then what? Take it all and throw in the bonfire out there? Is that the idea? Jesus Christ. Oh, hello. Yeah. Got another question for you. Where's my cut? What? My cut, my leather jacket, my fucking leather jacket. Who took it? Don't? No. Okay. Wait, 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 he just left! You just took it and left not long ago! Join us, brother. Hey. Do me a favor. Take that shit off. We will cut away your soul! Thanks. Shit, little asshole. Someone's here. No. You will never be found. No. <laughs> no. Lisa, listen to me. Okay. They know you freed me. It's not safe here. So come on, come on. Fine, don't come with me, but you can't stay here. You have to run because they will kill you. Do you understand me? Go! you can. Stay off the roads. Keep moving no matter what. Go. Oh. Ah, Boozer. Are you there? Ricky. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Listen, listen, look at me, look at me. I'm looking for Boozer and Schizo. Do you know them? Do you know where they are? I don't know. I don't know. Everything just, just happened so, so fast. They, they, were, they were everywhere. They, the Rippers, they were all over the, the camp and they were huh? torturing us. They, yeah. they took me. They, they took Chad and Eric and Slim. Hey, listen, what's your name? Nicole. Nicole, do you know how to use a gun? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. This guy Tyler up there. I want you to go up there. I want you to lay down. If any rippers come through here, you blow their goddamn heads up. I'm gonna go find your friends. Okay? Go. Come 
West to the footbridge. She's up in the wash tower. Go there, you help her. I don't want any more rippers coming in through the marsh. You got it? You're a godsend. I was praying so hard. Good. Then go. Go! All right, Nicole. I did my part. Let her go. Please, don't. You're all lost. Lost! No, 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 no. <gasps> I heard someone yelling. I just, I just couldn't let him die. Wait, 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 wait. Hold up, hold up. What the hell was that? <sighs> it's over. Yeah, Iron Mike negotiated a ceasefire. Wait, what? What the hell is going on? Let's go find out. Are you okay? Come on. I'm sorry. About everything. Oh, God, me too. Mike, this is all just a big misunderstanding. They only want- You attacked my camp. Murdered my people. You call that a misunderstanding? Mike. You broke our treaty. You come onto our land. We you steal our supplies. Deal you attack it. You, you can't son son of a bitch. Mike, listen to me. I made a deal. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, weapons, get low, weapons brother. down. Get low. Hold. Hi, right, Skizzo. I'd like to hear about that deal. God damn it. Just wait. Why don't you tell him? Wait. Tell him how you sold us out to them. Uh, what the hell do you want me to do? Oh, friggin' goddamn it, Skizzle. Why don't you tell him or I'm gonna cut your throat? Okay. Okay! I made a deal with Carlos. Okay? Mike? But it wasn't. It wasn't to sell out the camp. I swear. It was just them, the two of them, him and Boozer. That's all that he wants, just them. Yeah, how's that deal working out for you? I did it to save the camp, Mike. I did it to fix shit, to restore the treaty he broke. Mike. Zeke, it's good to see you breathing, but let him go. What? Deke. <laughs> Uh. 
Okay. Okay, so... Is what he says true? About you making a deal? Only lost tell lies. Yeah. It's true. Okay. So we give you Deke. William. Biker boats, whatever the fuck you want to call them. But you leave Lost Lake alone. You will rest in peace. You have my word. And that's something, isn't it? Your word. Grand fucking Poobah, the R.I.P. Hey, hey, we come here under a flag of truce. Truce, my ass! This is my camp. My people. You don't come here with some blood-stained flag of truce and demand shit! Not from me! Now, I don't care what you think these boys have done. I don't care why you want them. All I know is you're not getting them. We had a deal. No, this is the deal, Carlos. And it's the only one you're getting. Now you take your people, and you get the hell out of Lost Lake. The hell out of here. Or we all die together. Right here. Right now. Oh, shit, man. treaty stands. Always has. From where I'm standing. You son of a bitch! Loser! <clears throat> All right. Escort them out of my fucking camp. Hey, uh, we ain't through, Carlos. Get low, brother. Deke, <laughs> stand aside. Stand aside! I just want to say... Take him to lockup. Oh, fuck that, we'll take care of Get off him! I keep trying to tell you boys something. And you won't listen. This is not how we do things around here. We do not barter with lives, and we do not murder people in cold blood. Get him out of here. <clears throat> Get off me. We're gonna give him a fair trial. Like civilized people. And he's gonna get what's coming for him. I'm not sorry, Mike. I'm not. God damn it, I tried. I tried to save his camp. The Rippers won't stop. Carlos is not gonna stop. You hear me? They won't stop! You know who that was? Jesse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess being a cult leader at the end of the world wasn't enough to keep him busy. He was after some payback as well. That motherfucking son of a bitch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm guessing he's known about us for quite some time. That night at Crazy Willie's, that wasn't some random ripper attack. It's because it was going to sell us out to him? Where'd they take him? I'm going to find him and break his fucking oh, neck. Hold up, please, Schizo, for right now. Get your gear together. Some Molotovs, all the ammunition you can carry. Wait, what are you thinking? And I already know it's a bad idea. Yeah, it's a bad idea. idea, but we're going to do it anyway. I need to go and get the explosives from the lodge and then that court from Schizo's cabin. Meet me at the bridge. I'll explain on the way. Hey, you good with this, brother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now I just gotta get this back to my cabin with no one seeing me. Hey, Schizo. How's it going in there? You like your new digs? Deke? Deke! Talk to me, brother. Like... You know why I did it! First of all, I ain't your brother. And yeah, I do know why you did it. Oh, Dave! Come on, damn it! It wasn't personal! You gotta know that! There was no other way! Talk to Iron Mike, please! You tell him! Tell him I was just trying to save the camp! That's all I ever wanted! Oh, I'ma talk to Iron Mike. As soon as they find your ass guilty, I'm asking him to give you to me. Come midnight, me and Boozer, we're gonna tie you up. I'm gonna put you in the middle of the highway, and we're gonna wait for a horde. Deke, you gotta listen to me, brother! 
What do you suppose that feels like, huh? Torn apart? Eaten alive? Deke, I was just trying to stop Carlos. Stop the Rippers and keep this camp safe. This is our life, Deke. You know what? I think we're going to do that whether they find you guilty or not. Goodbye, Schizo. Schizo graduated with honors? What? I knew he wasn't a gangbanger. Well, only one name on my shit list, Schizo. Yours. Trust this asshole. Hello. This schizo won't be needing this. Oh. Mm. I, I can't do this anymore. It's okay, I'm fine. What's going on? I'm a goddamn veterinarian. I went to school to cure colic and heaves and hoof disease. Does this look like a fucking hoof to you? Addie, no, Addie. you saw what happened to Boozer. I can't do this. Addie, shh. Addie. There's so many wounded. Addie. And so many dying. Addie. Deacon, I am not a doctor. Okay, maybe not. But you're all we've got. Hey, Deke. So I want to go check on the explosives to make sure, you know, the Rippers didn't steal them, and then I went to Schizo's cabin to check on the deck cords, but I should have just come straight here and saved some time. Get the hell out of here, Ricky. Guess we can go blow up that cave, right? I'll come with you. When I was a kid, my dad found a rat's nest underneath one of our sheds. You want to know what he did? Can't even guess. Well, I waited till morning. They'd all be asleep. He laid a piece of plywood over the hole and told me to go get the garden hose. And he said to me, I never forget what he said to me. He said the best way to kill a rat's nest is to drown him. You can blow up the reservoir above the camp? Oh, that's an idea. Deacon, you can't. They want to rest in De peace. I'm going to help them out. Deacon, you can't do that. Why is that? Because Iron Mike? Because of some fucking treaty? You know, I want to cut Schizo's throat, but he's right about one thing. Carlos ain't gonna stop, Rippers ain't gonna stop, and you know it. Are you sure this isn't personal? Fuck yeah, it's personal. Nice rifle. Oh, yeah. A little present from Schizo. Remind me to be there when you give it back to him. Well, he'll be there. <laughs> that goddamn Schizo. So what are we gonna do with the bastard? I mean, we're not letting Iron Mike put him on trial, are we? No, we're not. All right, so what's the plan? I know the area pretty well. Sarah, uh, she worked out of a lab south of Iron Butte Ranch. I used to ride out there, pick her up for lunch. Carter to ride on some of those back roads. Jesse, Carlos, whatever the hell he's calling himself. He's taken over the old golf course and resort. Just south of the lodge is the Crescent Lake Reservoir. Now we blow that dam, that lake's gonna flood down into the valley and it's gonna drown them all, like rats. Okay, but isn't the lodge up on a hill? Yeah. Yeah, flood probably won't do much to it, but it'll do enough damage to the rest of the river compound to take out most of his men. Uh, and if Jesse survives, he won't see us coming. You got it.
Now we just gotta figure out how to get into the Iron Butte Valley without being seen, yeah? I'll get us there! You just hang on! Figured I'd take this bag of explosives down there and ask him if they didn't mind us, you know, blowing them the fuck up. Boozer. Look, you stay up here with Skizzo's rifle and keep him off me while I set the charges. Oh, hold, hold on. Look, I got this. Not much good in a firefight, but I can plant these charges. I've set demo charges before, Boozer, in Afghanistan. I know exactly where to put them. Good. Tell me where to go when I'm down there. We're doing this? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be up in this tower. Should give me a good view of the entire dam. I'll wait here until you get up there. Alright, you ready? I'm heading in. Yeah, stay low. Move fast. You got it, brother. Who's it? Never mind. Go, go! See the second set of scaffolding on top of the dam? Yeah, I see it. Heading over. Alright, I'm setting the first charge. I wish I had a blade hand. Fourth charge. All right, that's the last of them. Run, Boozer! I'm going as fast as I can. Wait a minute, was this already? <laughs> well, that never gets old, does it? <sighs> Let's, uh... Let's go find Josie. Yeah. You, uh, you did a hell of a job back there. Yeah? I thought I was done for a couple of times. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. What the hell are you talking about? This is the most alive I've felt since... Oh, uh, shit. You remember when we got trapped by that horde in Tumalo? We ain't done yet. How many you think we killed? I don't know. They had it coming, right? Yeah, they had it coming. Guess we all did.
Looks like we go in on foot from here. You wanna stay? Keep any stray rippers from ripping off my bike? Yeah, I don't think we need to worry about that. And fuck that. This? This is on Jesse. You wanted some payback? I wanna show him some fucking payback. There's no way you're getting up there. Cheryl. Damn it. Here. No. I'll boost you up. Okay, listen. If something happens to me, there's a trail not far from here. No, 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 no. Listen, that is not Carlos up there, okay? Not this founder, rest in peace. It's fucking Jesse Williamson. Fucking low-life piece of shit scumbag who got what was coming to him. All right. Now you fucking go up there and you kill that son of a bitch. Jesse Williamson, brought low. Do you remember back in the day, you and Boozer held me down while Jack burned the flesh from my back? Those, those memories. Good being on this shit again, you know. I gotta say, shoveling shit and you know, pulling weeds. I don't know, maybe it isn't such a bad way to spend the day. Yeah. Wow. With Jesse gone, how many you think are left? People that we knew from before, I mean. No one. Boo, so there's no one left. Shut. Sorry. Ugh. Yeah. Me too. Come on, let's get the yeah, fuck out of here. I said, I, I know we haven't talked in a few years. I guess I disfigured with my Elizabeth being there with you and all. There probably wasn't much point in me yammering away at you. Oh, and then, and what with all hell breaking loose, I, I thought maybe you weren't there. Or you just didn't give a shit. Pardon my language. I guess that's why I'm here. Say, I still don't know. I hope you're there. I hope there's some reason for all this shit we're living through. The 
that's all. We'll, we'll, we'll talk again some other time. Oh, um, amen. Deke? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, Ricky told me that I could find you here. Oh! Ah, uh, uh, it's just these knees of mine, you know. It's reason I haven't been praying all these years. Yeah, I'm not a... I'm not a church-going type. Even after living through that shitstorm in Sherman's camp. But now... After all this, I just thought, hell, I, maybe it, now it's the time. I, uh, I didn't have a choice, Mike. Oh, everybody's got a choice, Deke. Until they're dead. It's either us or them. <laughs> it's always us or them. Always. You know the reason we're going to hell? is we can't figure out that us is every goddamn soul that ain't walking around in shit-stained pants trying to eat us! All right, you know what? You may not like it, but the world is what it is. Yeah, it is. Praying ain't gonna change that. Wishing that it was something else ain't gonna make it that way, Mike. Wishing ain't got anything to do with it. We make the world what it is by what we do. All of us. I let him go. Schizo. Ain't no way he was getting a fair trial. You let him go. Told him to ride out, not come back. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mike, do you have any idea what the fuck you've done? Yeah. I stopped another killing. And you know what? I guess I'm good with that. <sighs> no, this is your clutch. <sighs> I know where the clutch is. Right, do you want me to show you how to do this or not? Yes, but I know where the clutch is. Okay, fine. All right, you do it yourself, okay? Fine. Hey, hey, hey! What are you doing? You can't park here. Uh, I'm just here to pick it's up private Sarah property. We're... Now turn around, get the hell out of here. Come on. Okay. <laughs> Move it. Yep. Uh, uh, okay, uh, you know what, though? I think I'm just gonna wait right here. You can go back to doing your guard the cornfields thing. This is Officer Moore at the gate. We got an issue here. <laughs> hey, listen, asshole, this is a restricted area. I told you, get the hell out of here. Okay. Hey, hey, you just wait right there. I told you, move it. It's like I was trying to say, I'm just here She's to pick up- Did you not see that sign? Oh, look at that. That's kind of hard to miss. I'm authorized to use deadly force. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Hey, whoa, 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 what's going on? <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Whitaker. It's, it's what, fine, Jim. Do you know this asshole? Yeah, he's with me. He's with me. Sorry, ma'am. I, I on, didn't know go. that... It's fine. Honestly, I apologize. Shh. Oh, and Jim! Deacon. I'm not with her, she's with me. Hold on tight. Why do you always do that? Do what? Act like such a dick. Oh, come on, he started it. What are you, five? Hey, watch the clutch. Remember, you gotta give it enough gas, rev up the RPMs. I got this. Yeah, I can hear. Where are we headed? Over to the dam. It's a nice, quiet road, right? Are you driving? No. Are we still going out tonight? You said something might come up. Uh, crap, yeah. Uh, Boozer and the boys want to ride down to Clam Estate, visit Jack. So you're gonna blow me off to go see some guy in prison? Jack's not some guy. I know, I know. I was kidding. Thank you.
Oh shit, look out! Ah! Oh god. Oh my god. Jesus. I don't know what it is, but every time I'm on a bike with you, some idiot in a truck tries to run us off the road. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. You did great. You did great. Uh, most people, they would have panicked. They would have oversteered, and that would have gotten us killed. I almost did get us killed. I was... No, no. I wasn't paying attention, and I was distracted. Hey, it's okay. It's okay. Just breathe. You're okay. Wait a second. What did, what did you mean, distracted? No, it's just stuff going on at work. It's nothing. I just... Oh. Okay. Oh, I just thought maybe you uh, saw my new patch. Your what? No. Nomad? Wait, you, you quit the club? No, I didn't quit the club. I would never quit the club. Uh, uh, nomad, what it means is, um, well, I'll be less involved from now on. Deke, I didn't ask you to do that. Oh, I know, I know, and if you had, I would have said no. <laughs> you ready to try this again? Yeah, I mean, no, but yeah, I will. Thank you for saving my life. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. Hey, hey, the clutch, the clutch. I know what the clutch is. Okay, no, no, the... Deacon. So, uh, you think your parents are gonna come? To the wedding? I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I thought if I stepped back from the MC that, uh... I don't think it's gonna matter to them, Deacon. But you're gonna, you're gonna at least tell them. Yeah, if you want me to. Look, it's just... I'm not going to change who I am and who you are to make my uptight, middle-class parents happy. Okay. Look out! I see them. Hey, are they... are they headed to your work? Oh, shit. What about the MC? Are any of them coming now that you've gone nomad? Oh, uh, I don't know. Uh... It's probably been a while since any of them set foot in a chapel, uh, and you really want 27 Harleys rolling up in that little church in Marion Forks? Yeah. You know what? As a matter of fact, I do. Uh, okay. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Miss Whitaker. Yeah. She's been trying to get a hold of you. Says it's urgent. It's always urgent. Let him know I'll be right there. Okay. I gotta go. Hey, hey. <sighs> Sorry. It's fine. It's probably just a fire alarm or something small. Okay. Knock him dead. <clears throat> Love you. Um, just call me later. Addie, I'm sorry. Whatever. Addie, whatever, Ricky. I'm sorry. God damn. Clearance. Clearance. Uh, O'Brien, this is St. John. Come back. O'Brien, this is St. Just answer your goddamn radio! St. John, didn't think I'd hear from you again. Yeah, neither did I. All right, listen, that night you bugged out. You told me that you didn't take any civilians. You just took uh, Nero personnel, feds, people with clearance. I told Shut up, shut up, shut up. Listen to me. Sarah, my wife, she had clearance. She had her ID badge with her the night that I put her on your chopper. So just do me a favor, look it up. Sarah Irene Whitaker. She worked at Cloverdale. She had federal clearance. She was doing, uh, I don't know, research pharmaceutical. I don't know what she, the hell she was okay, doing. Just okay. do me. I'll see what I can find. Okay, great. Well, Brian, remember, you owe me. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Brian out. So what the hell? I managed to recruit a few guys who I trust, like me, aren't happy with what's going on. So why am I here? I wanted to give you this. You were right about your wife. Where did you get this? When Silver Lake evacuated, they took Nero personnel, federal officials, and well, Sarah Irene Whitaker had a class four federal clearance level. Clearance level. The wife bugged out with a recon unit east of Fort Rock. Take me there. 
No. No. Well, you got a ride. We're all friends now. The base is gone. What? A year ago. Local militia group. Militia group? Where's their camp? We don't know. How the hell can you not know? You got a helicopter. You got satellites. Somewhere around Crater Lake, but it's a no-fly zone, okay? They got outposts, rockets, RPGs. Crater Lake. Crater Lake. Oh, I wanted to tell you about the work we're doing. Studying the infected, the freaks. They're evolving. As bad as things are right now, they're gonna get worse. A lot worse. Tielson Pass. He told me once that I I'd... told you nothing. Go on. Oh, I can't on. help you, Deke. Just draw me a goddamn map. After everything you've done. After everything I've... What about what you've done, old man? Huh? Sherman's you camp, the things that you, you get did. Out you get out of here. You leave me What if? You could take it all back, huh? What if you could fix it? But I thought I put Sarah on a chopper. I felt relieved. How fucked up is that? Uh, I was relieved, Mike. That's what I've been living with. And now you're chasing ghosts. You think finding your old lady, if she's alive, you think that's gonna fix it? Make you whole? I don't know, but I gotta try. All right. If I do this, what you want, show you the way over the pass. You don't come back. All right, you promised me. You don't come back. I got you. Holy Loser, shit. Loser, I... I... Uh-huh. Huh. Last winter, we were up on Farewell Ridge. We're watching the freaks. Thousands, thousands of them. I mean, too many to count. Yeah, I remember. All I could think was every one of us, man, woman, and child, are now homeless. A bunch of goddamn refugees. Yeah. World belongs to them now. We'll survive. <laughs> yeah, we've been doing that all right. Surviving isn't living. Something Jack used to say. Doesn't matter when you hit the road where you're heading out to, but you damn well better know where you're coming home to. You know, we never talked about it while we still wore the colors all this time out in the freak show when shit like this didn't matter anymore. Yeah, yeah but I think. Last two Mongols on Earth, farewell originals. Uh, the biker boys, most badass drifters on the broken road. Damn straight. Yeah, I guess we did become sort of a brand. The, we were a lot of things, but we were never a brand. <laughs> <laughs> when we rode out of farewell without Sarah, without Jack or anyone. I knew that we were leaving everything behind. Everything that mattered was gone. Said this. You're a nomad again, huh? Yep, I guess I am. Come on, Jack. Inside, let's go. If she's out there, you can find her. Hey. 
Our big Mike has taken you over the pass? Yep. You really think she's still alive? Billions of people are dead, but somehow she made it. Hey, we made it, didn't we? If I give up now, if I don't... If I don't do this... Well, then I'm just gonna end up like, uh... Like us. Right? Like Iron Mike, like Boozer? What'd you call us? Campers, yeah? You go, and you find your woman. You know where to find me. Hey, you know what? You know what I think, Deacon? I think that you're, you're afraid to be here. You're afraid to be a part of something. We need you here, and that scares the hell out of you. I'm sorry. <sighs> yeah, me too. You ready? Yeah, I want to get the hell out of here. Come on, this way. Okay, I'm following you. Took Jack out fishing once, before, you know. Shit. I got one. Didn't know what the hell to do with it. <laughs> that sounds like Jack. No, you ran a pretty tight club. Or you boys raised some hell back in the day. I don't think you murdered anyone. Not in cold blood. It's not murder if they shoot at you first. Tourists we used to get through here come summer? A few. Thousands. Too many to count. Highway be bumper to bumper with SUVs and campers chock full of sunburned moms, beer chugging dads, and their snot nosed kids. Goddamn rainbow of floppy hats, Hawaiian shirts, and flippy flops. All summer long they come. A trail of colorful ants from LA to farewell to here. Nonstop. Glad I avoided road trips out here that time of year. You can use the help. I don't have a choice, Mike. Fair enough. Come on, just follow me. <sighs> yeah, okay. This is it. This is as far as I go. Keep following the trail. It'll take you down the mountain, on into the Diamond Lake Valley. I wish you luck. Hope you're right about your old lady still being alive. She is. Well, maybe so. But you gotta ask yourself, Deke. What does it matter if everyone else is dead? Listening. Damn it, try again! 
What the hell? Jesus, I don't know what we would have done without you, man. Oh, come on. Hey, okay, all right, all right, all right. It's dead. It's cool. Man of the hour. Oh, God. I'm Russell. Glenn Russell. This is Private Mullins. Rick. Hey, Rick. Uh, I'm Deacon St. John. Did, did you say private? Yeah. Yes, sir. The Shoots County Militia. You're not from around here. You come over the pass? Uh, no, no, no. I've just been uh, drifting. I came over the uh, salt flats east of Silver Lake. <laughs> What? What the hell are you doing out here, man? How'd you get across the 97? Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus, man. What? This guy just saved your freaking life. The colonel told us to look out for anybody entering the territory, north or south. The... Freaking slow your roll, man. We'll let the captain deal with that, okay? Fine. He just killed a freaking ranger, dude. Come with us. We got a camp just by Diamond Lake. Get you three hots and a cot. Least we can do. Okay, yeah, sounds good. What about Flores? We can't just leave him here. Uh, you stay here. I'll come back with some fuel. No! Listen, stay here. Use his ammo if you gotta. You'll be fine. Okay? Let's go. Following you. Captain, sir, we had him. We did. Found his bike still smoking. I bet you lost him, huh? No, sir. I mean, yeah, we lost him. We ran into a rager, sir. Where's Mullins? Flores? Flores is dead, sir. I'll have Mullins with a body. That'll be all, Corporal. Go get some fuel. Head back to Mullins. You know what to do. Yeah. Yes, sir. If it wasn't for this man, we'd all be dead, sir. I sort of promised him some food and a safe place to camp tonight, sir. Corporal, get the fuck out of here. And you are? Name's Deacon St. John. Name's Corey. Derek Corey. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. I've been on the road for a long time. Your man Russell said you were recruiting. Well, are you interested? I've been looking to settle down, yeah, find a camp. I'm interested. Come on. Here, take this. Militia script, camp credits. Payment for helping my men. Use them at any of the commissaries. Okay. You gonna join up? Stick around. We're getting ready to ride out of here soon. Getting ready to ride out where? You said you had some tracking skills. Yeah, some. This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Hey. Uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man. Name's Wade. Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit. Deacon St. John? Is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. 
Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, <sighs> playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Listen, <laughs> uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday, okay, yesterday. I've been, been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that look like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, but she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. Yeah, some. Captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. What has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> well, he's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking him? Not that I know of. Huh. No, but he's either dead, or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. <sighs> do you see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, boss, oh, we'll see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Hey, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, easy. I'm not gonna... I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay, okay. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh neutralized. Uh, Hold your position. Curry out. Come on. We brought up your bikes, Captain. Thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Or the hell not. So, St. John. Where did you serve? Before the ship went down. Hey, you know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. Hold up. I want to show you something. So, are you familiar with this area? Yeah. I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell. You know it? No. Uh, it sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pic? Oh, of your wife, I mean. <laughs> Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chival what? <laughs> no, it means, um... Oh. Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. 
Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far. <laughs> what would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? Well, I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. No, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I just... I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in. Oh, well, oh, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there, that's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh, I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. <laughs> I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime. Oh, I know. Come oh, on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, you, uh... Well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, I and mean, we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even showing me the spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know what, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system, so this here, and this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me up in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation. Put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you looking again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh oh, -uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay, first of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we'd get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? 
I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it, and we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? <gasps> Deacon? Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one... The second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <laughs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little bangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. Oh, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're gonna get me like a real ring, though, right? Not that this one's no, not absolutely, great. Absolutely, because I, I just you know, thought that's my ring. You can't right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. No, it's your room. It's the lab. I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine. I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, at th this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Uh, you guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up! I'm going as fast as I can! Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps are riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. The side shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! Shh. 
At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Shh. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face, <laughs> are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Come oh, on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole. Get off of me! <laughs> what about you? Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And, um, no, sir. I, uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone, nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. Was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain, Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> Thou shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed! Walk with me, son. What's up? Captain? Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lo hará bien. You doing runs out in the shit? Mm -hmm. Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Mm. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but uh, I think that... Uh, oh, here. Try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier. But I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally, we start new recruits in the rank of private. 
but since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of Corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. Whoa! Now! Shit! You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. I'm sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. St. John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal St. John is new to Corey's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit, he's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Oh, you're working on napalm? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, well, why don't you read it? <sighs> Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, A tur turpin tur Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, a terpenol, benzo alcohol, acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Sir. Stand at attention. Dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I, I couldn't I find you. You had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun, and, and we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it found out. Ryan and Farewell I found was overrun. They said that everybody the was mountain. dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see, would you, again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't hey, look back. Come please. on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Great.
Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. Lieutenant. <laughs> no, nah, man, leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. Uh, yeah. This is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way. How did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch? You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all. That'll be all. Oh, God damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. I meant for stay. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Doc. Uh, Come in. Sentase. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East L.A. patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stove did this. Hmm. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together, fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no?
Thanks, Doc. Come on, boy. Don't give up on us. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Let's do this. Cut up! Hey, ah! Ah! Can you hear that? Ah! Ah! Get him the fuck out of here! Come on! Ah! What do you think? Maybe we could turn this in at that army camp. Get some credits. So hard. Kill him. No, man. No, no. Do it. Do it. How you doing, Taylor? Um, you know, I've had better days. I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this. Hold it against your head like that. Good. No, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Yeah, hell yeah. Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? God, get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What's that all about? <sighs> Nothing. It's just Weaver. He thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. <sighs> thank you. No, don't. <sighs> what now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? I, That's what you think this is? I, I, Everything I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... <sighs> Thank... I appreciate your help. That did it. Man, you keep picking the wrong friends. Screw you! Hey, hey, you, you don't remember me? Oh, I remember you. Standing up on the stage, kissing the colonel's ass like a good little soldier. Well, Jesus Christ, do you know why I'm here? <laughs> I figure the son of a bitch colonel put a bounty on my head. So do it already! I don't give a shit! What the hell are you doing? I'm not gonna kill you, I just... I need the rings. Those are my goddamn rings. This son of a bitch has stolen from me. They're mine! Yeah, yeah, they are. But it's either the rings or your life. So what's it gonna be? You can go to hell! You're welcome. Colonel, sir, reporting in. I'm, uh, returning the stolen property. Corporal. Yes, the worker. Common thief and murderer. Did she put up a fight? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, she did. Uh, she put up a hell of a fight, but it was nothing that I could handle. Fight on the side of righteousness, Corporal. Don't give it another thought. It is those like her 
Liars, thieves, murderers, drug addicts, criminals all, who brought this scourge down upon us. I will not weep to see them gone. Everyone. Dismissed, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll get back to work. Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once, when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Lady's got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. My friend is a napalm molotov, and that is how we're gonna win this war. Once I fine-tune the formula, that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch. Know how hot that is? Yeah, I got a pretty good idea. I worked in an auto shop. Do you need anything else? Nah, man. I'm good. So goddamn close. <laughs> Kaboom! <laughs> gonna blow up and burn, son! Taking it to the ass! Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. <clears throat> What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college yeah, east yeah. of here, uh, off the highway. Let's take the south you know the bridge, one? it'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Can I ask you 
ask you something? After that night in Farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, where we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but um that night in farewell, my mongrel's ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. Ah, damn it, Roots. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Oh, shit. Back, 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 back. Oh, fuck. Yeah. All right, well, why don't we find another way? No, wait a second, wait a second. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, if we both go out there, we're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through, just close this up. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? No. Hey, over here. There's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. Hold on, let me find something. Uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Ha <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, oh, God, why are we laughing? I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, <laughs> well. And now you finally got your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. Hey, another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yep, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> Sarah, hold on! <laughs> Damn it, Sarah! Sarah! Sarah? Sarah! Sarah! Hey. God. Oh my God, there's... There are so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay, you're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. <clears throat> oh, God damn it! Hey, hey, it's okay. I'm it's sure jammed we'll like find all the rest. Another way. <laughs> oh, shit! Wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means there's gotta be a way from the roof. Come on. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, well, killing newts? No, but I mean, you gotta admit they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. <clears throat> Careful. Oh, not only are they annoying, but they smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is that like the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. Oh, shit. 
Guess I should have done a better job of hiding the bike. All right. Let's do this. There's more of them. A lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. <clears throat> Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on. <clears throat> Can I say thank you? No. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. You're welcome. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna right happen to the dock around. in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Asbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You... Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you.
That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> God, do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to see how he's static. that all about anyway what all the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms it just seems kind of pointless you know considering hey you're in the army once you should know that was different how well there were more people in the world I don't know I mean having a military made more sense I think it makes more sense now why it's utter fucking chaos out here we need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it you know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I and mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, uh, bear problems. Bear problems? Shut it off! You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from... To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way! Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? The colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh, my God. What's wrong? Nothing. It's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, 
Pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Loser's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't wanna, I didn't wanna let him down, so I, I didn't wanna go out that way, and then I found out that, that you were still alive in that, that's, that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. Yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring, and that's that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. Are you trying to convince me or you? Must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You can help move this or what? Yeah, sure. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on. Oh, <laughs> 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 
close. Goddamn close. They're infected. That's what's made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. What the hell happened here? I don't know. Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and that was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> And now it's been, what, two years? God damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Yes, hey, sir. You know how you just said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh god, let us in! <sighs> oh, is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. Yeah, I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? That was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Open oh, fire! Come on. Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. Oh, this world stop stopping anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Hands! Don't shoot! Hands! Don't shoot! I give up! Get I give up! up. Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. 
You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <clears throat> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take the risk. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. about God this is my fault I, I don't understand I should fault. have seen it when it first went in I mean we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here and then all of this changed they sealed everything off they took away my clearance God David kept telling me he kept telling me that something was wrong okay okay who's who's David so David Gorman he was this research intern you know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're, we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone. Then he didn't listen. He hacked the system, he got behind the firewall, he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something. I don't classified know. project, just he slow wanted, down and... He wanted to be the next Edward Snowden. You see, he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing. David Gorman, he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit, and I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have it's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse, is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. You think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay.
Uh, Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke, Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't, I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper, you know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick. When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her. Tell her. You can be safe, okay? Be safe. Boozer. Boozer, Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dee? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. Hi. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle? I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so uh, let's get moving. It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Soaking wet. Excuse me. I never thought I'd 
get warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you want to eat something, or...? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me? Come here, come here. I hope this is high enough. Boozer, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deek? Deek, is that you? I can barely hear you. You're, you're cutting out. Where the hell are you? Crater Lake, uh, believe it or not. Hey, uh, I, I... It's good to hear from you again, brother. I uh, thought maybe, uh, thought maybe you were heading back. Uh, no, Boozer, not yet. It's, uh, it, it's complicated. Look, uh, I'm just... I'm just sort of checking in. To see how, you know, how everything's going. Good. Good, Deke. Things are going good. You will never guess who the old man put in charge of security. Wait, you? Yeah, you got it. Guess he figured, you know, with only one arm, I can only cause half as much trouble. Okay. Yeah, like I said, I just, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, it was good to hear from you, brother. Yeah, you too. Go. Go. Hey, what's going on? Captain? Dr. Jimenez has been murdered. What? And the son of a bitch. Jesus Christ, slit his throat from here to Where's here. Where's Taylor? Did, did Taylor see anything? All the narcotics in the camp are gone. Taylor. This one's on me. I assigned him to the infirmary. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying Taylor was a junkie. You knew? It doesn't matter. Anymore. All right, Taylor. What the hell are you doing out here? Taylor. Dick and St. John. How are we doing, Taylor? That fucked up, man. I didn't mean to kill him, man. He wasn't supposed to be there. I... Doc was a good guy, man. He fucking, he fucking helped me. He helped me. Come on, get up. No. I don't want to hang, man. <laughs> I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. I don't want to hang. Hey, listen. 
Brooks. I mean, Taylor. Taylor. <laughs> you kick and you kick Wade. and you shit yourself. All those fucks standing at attention. And they're laughing at you. They're laughing at you. I don't want to... I don't want to... Please. Don't let them hang me. St. John. In here. Overdose. God damn it. Bring the body outside. I don't care what a man's done. We never leave him for the freaks. Well, when we found him, he was already dead. Overdose. We recovered most of the drugs, not all. As if the world hasn't seen enough corruption and decay. As if the world isn't already filled to overflowing with mindless, soulless creatures. Take these to the infirmary. And this time... Assign someone who isn't a goddamn junkie. Yes, sir. You want one alive? Oh, kind of hard to run tests on something dead. Here. What, what is that? It's a special tranquilizer. It'll help you knock it out long enough so you can bring it back here. I'm so close, Deacon. This could be it. Yes, ma'am. Hey, I was just heading out to find you a newt. Great. Okay, there's a specific one that I need, all right? Well, wait, hold on for a second. A specific newt? South of here, just off Rim Drive, is an old resort cabin. It's now home to an entire colony of infected kids. Newts. Okay. Okay, so radio me when you get there. Sarah, out. <laughs> colony of newts? Oh, my God, this I gotta see. St. John, report. Hey, Captain. I'm on a run for Lieutenant Whitaker, so I'm kind of busy at the moment. Understood. Report to me when you're finished. We're ready to test Beaver's weapon. Corey out. <sighs> Shit. Well, so much for Sarah beating Weaver to the finish line. Sarah, I'm here. Alright. You're looking for a young female wearing a red shirt. One of those kids' shirts that says, like, Teensy Tabby or something. I'm surprised the Colonel hasn't burned this place out yet. I told Matt the site was hands-off. I've been running blood tests on several of the youngest ones for months. 
I need them for the serum. Okay. Uh, how am I supposed to get the one that you want without killing the rest? Look, I don't know. Just, just do what you have to do, okay? I need the female wearing the red shirt. You wanted a live one? You get a live one. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Uh, hey, Captain, uh, pistol over my bike. Uh, the Colonel doesn't allow for pets on the island, I'm afraid. <laughs> Uh, Lieutenant needed a live test subject. Uh, you two seem to be getting along well. You and Lieutenant Whitaker? Just doing my job, sir. You know, keep it professional, Corporal. The Colonel doesn't allow for fraternization between enlisted men and officers. Oh, no, no, no. It can't have any of that, sir. All right. Carry on. Yes, sir. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Come on, help me! Come on, come on! So much for the tranquilizer. Yeah, well, the biology's kind of fucked right now. What do you want me to do? I can't get the right dosage. Here, hold on, hold on. This is what I've been working on. How long? Oh, hold on, just a few seconds. Oh, shit. Holy shit. God damn. <laughs> well, whew, I don't know what you put in that. That shit went down fast. <laughs> damn it! You're not making a bioweapon, you're... Oh my god, are you, are you... are you trying to cure it? I thought that once I got the original cell line from Cloverdale that I could create antibodies for the virus and I could reverse engineer it. Jesus. And now all of that work, everything that I have worked on is for nothing. Save them. Nothing's gonna be able to change them back. So get up, dust yourself off, try again. Were you not seeing what just happened? Every cell in that kid's body just exploded. That's exactly why you can't quit. What? Because you called it a kid. Do you have any idea how many of these things that I've killed? And it never once occurred to me, you know what, that used to be someone's kid. You know, I met this girl once, and she used to talk about the freakers the same way you do. She used to call them sick people. I thought that was crazy, but she looks at them the same way that you do. So you think I'm crazy? No, no. I think you're the first sane person I've seen in two years. You know, I still remember the night that I lost you, but... I'm starting to realize it wasn't the night that I had left you on that chopper. It was the next night. Me and Boozer, we rode into that refugee camp that you were supposed to be waiting at, right? Except there's freakers everywhere. The choppers are on fire. There's people screaming, so many people. And so we fought, and we won, and what did we get? Bodies. Bodies everywhere. And I checked every corpse, every face. There must have been a thousand of them, maybe more. I checked every single one. That was the night that I lost you. And Boozer, Boozer, you know, he's, <laughs> he's just, he was just trying to keep me together for the next two years. But I didn't give a shit about any of it. And then I see this Nero chopper flying around in the sky and I start to feel something. I'm thinking, you know what? Fuck you, fuck you. Because even if she is alive, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna find her, we're gonna ride away, we're never gonna look back. Because I don't wanna be part of some militia. I don't wanna fight in a war, and I don't wanna live in some camp. 
So why are you still here? Because of you. All of this, seeing how hard you work, seeing how dedicated you are. Most people out there, they're just trying to survive, and here you are, trying to save the goddamn world. Yeah, well, I'm not doing a very good job. So you get up, you dust yourself off, and you try again. We're going back to Cloverdale. They got better equipment. We're going to dig into their research deeper. You would do that. You would help me. Yeah, I would. I would because you believe in this. Don't give up. We'll ride north. Yeah, we'll ride north. We'll, we'll tell them that we're going on a supply run. Yeah, but we're not coming back. No, we're gonna go AWOL. You know if they catch us, they will hang us. Then we hang together. Ma'am? <clears throat> yeah? Deke, Colonel wants to see you. Be right there. Pack up what you need, I'll be back. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Corporal St. John. Colonel, sir. Come with me, please. Are we ready? Colonel, sir. Yes, sir. That shit is locked and loaded. Oh, uh, bike's already loaded, sir. I'm not sure if I understand. <laughs> Lieutenant Weaver's weapon is finished. We're ready to test it. Hell yeah. Are you ready to burn down a horde? Oh. Something wrong, Corporal? No, sir. No, no, no. Um. Hell yeah. Let's get this done. All right. Now you're talking, man. Gentlemen, this is the start of a new era. Carry on. Lieutenant Weaver, with me. Yes, sir. I figured that I think you should... should stay up here and let me do this alone. What the fuck? You got a death wish? No. That's why I think I should go in alone. Look, even with Weaver's jacked up Molotovs, we can't take an entire horde all at once. No. So, uh... I figure I go down there. I get their attention. I pull off a few at a time, and then I run like hell. And I gotta find some way to... Slow them down, maybe set a few traps. And then I blow them to hell. Look, two of us running around down there. It's gonna be chaos. We'll just pull the horde down on each other. No, you stay up here. You keep an eye on me. If shit goes south, you ride in there, you get me the hell out. Hmm? Unless you got a better plan. I got nothing. <laughs> Again? Like I said, find a way to slow them down. Those sons of bitches like to clump up, climb all over each other. I can find a narrow space between trucks and buildings. Whatever. It'll take a while to get through. Once I get some space between me and them, you'll blow them the hell up. You got it. Rinse, repeat. Uh, a few times. A little more horde. That's your plan. Oh, that's my plan. Good luck, St. John. It's got nothing to do with it. All right, I'm heading in. I see you. Let me know if you need my help. <laughs> Copy that.
Stephen. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John reporting in. Come back. Oh, where the hell are you? Captain, uh, I just tried to check in with Lieutenant Whitaker and she's not answering. Couldn't wait to tell her the good news? Yeah, she'll be thrilled. I bet. You'll see her soon enough. Don't radio Lieutenant Weaver. I want to tell him the news in person. Okay, you earned that. <laughs> Copy that. St. John out. We did it. You did it. Uh, Weaver did it. Oh. I've never seen anything like this. With mean, the way you were one step ahead of him? Ever had a horde breathing down your neck? It really keeps the adrenaline flowing. Maybe the Colonel's right. Maybe we can win this war. Hey, how'd it go? Oh, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. Oh, shit. It didn't work? No, I'm sorry, Lieutenant. But you're out of a job. Hell, you're at work. Oh, yeah! <laughs> you should have been there, man. We really lit him up. Oh, man! We're gonna celebrate tonight. The office is mess. <laughs> All right. Looks like somebody's getting a promotion. Hey, man, you coming? Uh, you know what? Let me, I'm gonna catch up with you. I gotta, I gotta take care of something first. All right, you handle that. That's the last of it. 
Be careful not to break anything. Some of these things are... irreplaceable. What's going on? Uh, where is the lieutenant? Corporal St. John. I'm sorry, sir. It's all right, son. All essential personnel doing R&D have been moved. Moved? Where? Uh, because I need to deliver these supplies that she asked for. I understand. There's been a... Walk with me, son. Please. Ma'am, Colonel's orders. Matt, you can't do this. You can't keep me locked in here. Ease, Captain. And then the Lord said to Noah, Enter the ark, you and all your household. For you alone I have seen to be righteous before me in this time. Matt, what are you talking about? I'm sorry, you Lieutenant. You can't! Colonel, wait! Hey! It's fine. It's fine. Man, I got the, uh, supplies that you asked for. Come on in. Follow me. I've been working on a new assignment. Poison this time. Listen. When you pick this, you have to do it carefully. If you don't, it could kill you. Understood. I'm gonna get you out of here. Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Weaver. Oh, Corporal St. John, come on in, man. Check out my home sweet home. Yeah, I love what you've done with the place. Man, I... ain't this some shit? Wonder what they would have done with me if I failed. No, oh, colder cave down that way. <laughs> yeah, I heard about that. You know, she didn't take it any better than I did. No, she did not. Do you need anything? Nah, man, I'm good. Oh, wait, you know what? There is something you can get from me. You hear that? Hear what? That's right. Nothing. Colonel ain't exactly big on tunes, in case you hadn't heard. I think it's Mennonite or some shit. Oh, it's dancing. Wait, what's dancing? Dude, Mennonites, they love music. They just have a problem with dancing. Forget it. Oh, it's... no shit. Yeah, whatever, dude. I don't care. I need an MP3 player. Earbuds. Anything. Sounds. Are you kidding me? Do I look like I'm kidding? Okay. Thank you. Hey, sir, you there? Come in. Corporal St. John, I won't tolerate insubordination. Private, I'm trying to work. Get out! Sorry, ma'am. Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you 24 7. Uh, Lieutenant, sorry. Yeah, just reporting in. Um, I got a question about your requisition form. Yes, Corporal. Uh, it says that you need me to collect water hemlock. Yes. It grows along the edges of wetlands. Look along the north edge of the Klamath Marsh. You should be able to find it there. Klamath Marsh. Got it. Remember, Corporal, it's highly poisonous. The most toxic plant that grows in North America. O okay, I'll be careful. And the last report said that there were infected crows in the area, so you might want to take something to burn out their nests. Burn out their nests. Got it. Uh, one more thing. Uh, that other project that I'm working on, I'm going to have more information on that soon. Thank you, Corporal. Lieutenant Whitaker, out. So, uh, what do you want from me, O'Brien? I'm glad she's alive, your wife. Okay, well, what do you want? I told you the infected, the freaks, are mutating. Some faster than others. Uh-huh. We placed a tracking bracelet on one of them, so that we could track it and stop it periodically and draw blood samples and check the progress of the virus. Okay, so why do you need me? It's wandered into militia territory. Oh, right. We can't get close to it. Yeah, no fly zone. Outpost with RPGs. Exactly. What's this? Once you've tracked it down, I'm gonna need you to do something for me. This pack holds everything you need to do a field biopsy. We need blood and tissue samples. Can you handle that? Yeah, I can figure it out. By the way, nice uniform, Corporal. Suits you. Suck it. <laughs> Brian, I'm at the cave and I'm heading in. You guys gonna be ready? Yes, we're standing by. Oh, Jesus. What's wrong? Eh, freaker shit. 
Freak your shit everywhere. Hey, O'Brien, uh, you got any idea what took out your men? Am I walking into a horde here? No idea. We never heard back from them. Remember, if you find them, we got people here who'd be grateful. Grateful? Grateful, yeah, that changes everything. Yeah, I got it. Good. I'll take care of it. Out. O'Brien, how many men are in here? Uh, how many did you, did you lose? Four. Four men. A researcher and three soldiers. Jesus, O'Brien, what am I doing in here? The researcher, Coop, is a personal friend of mine. You do this and I'll do whatever I can to help you get your wife, O'Brien, out. O'Brien. So while I'm tracking down your pet freak, give me some more mumbo jumbo. Uh, tell me about the virus. I mean, something that I don't know. For those exposed, the virus infection rate is close to 100%. In the first weeks, almost everyone under the age of 12 was killed. Something to do with how puberty, or the lack of it, affected the body's immune response. Everyone over the age of 60, mostly, were also killed. Their bodies just couldn't handle the rapid genetic mutations on a cellular level. Everyone else who is exposed becomes transformed as the genes mutate. The thing is, the virus is mutating at an exponential rate. I know, you keep saying that. What does that mean? It means that the infected subject, the freaker you're tracking down, isn't like any you've seen before. We've tracked and identified over 12 mutations. 12? Yeah, and that's just the beginning. You wouldn't believe some of the shit we've seen. Yeah, well, I probably would. Say, John, out. Guys in yellow spacesuits. Can't be too hard to find them if they're in here. On your last man. ID reads Cooper. Copy that. No, no! Jesus. No, no! Hold up, he's still alive. Hold on. Hey, Cooper, Cooper. Hey, 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 hey. Right here, right here. We're gonna get you out of here, right? Now. Cooper! Cooper, come in! Sorry, shoot. We're stuck. Keep down. Come on. Oh, Jesus. His legs are broken. Hold on, stay with him. I'm sending in another team. No! No, no. My shit's compromised. I'm not gonna make it. Hey. Let me talk to Jen. Get Jen in here, now! Cooper, what the hell did this to you? What happened? I'm so fast. I just didn't see it coming. Are you telling me that a freak did all of this? Richard. Reacher. Cooper! Cooper! Are you there? Jen? Oh, I'm here. I can hear you. I can't you. believe it. I thought I'd never hear you more. Oh, look at me. We're gonna get you out of here. Do you hear me? Cooper! So what the hell am I doing with you?
Oh, Jesus. O'Brien, I got your samples. Hey, John! Get out of there! What? Get out of there now! There's a horde coming! You've got to be kidding me! Shit, they're getting close. Yeah, it's time to finish these guys off. Thanks to you. Transmitting coordinates. O'Brien out. O'Brien. Four men died from this shit. Hope it was worth it. Jesus, listen to you. Those are my men. I don't need you or anyone else telling me. Fly around in your helo well above the shit. You crawl back into what? Cozy underground bunker, whatever the fuck. You have no idea what it's like out here. I don't have to what it takes to survive. Oh, you know those men, Cooper, the others, they had no idea what they were walking into, but you did. Didn't you? Huh? Didn't you? Radio me when you and your old lady are ready to be lifted up. Maybe this time you'll get on the chopper with her. Well, would you like to taste it? Go right ahead. Thank you, Corporal. I hope you were careful. This is very toxic. Yeah. Yeah, sure thing, ma'am. Uh, listen, I got a plan. I don't have time to explain, but the next time I get here, get ready to get the hell out of here, okay? Corporal. I didn't thank you this time. As you were. Hey. Hey, man, how'd you do? Uh, this is all I could find. Oh. oh, man, what do we have here? Oh, brother, you're a lifesaver, dude. Right on. Thank you. Uh, do you need anything else, Weaver? Weaver, do you need... Totally. Mm, mm. Uh, hey, Corporal St. John, you one of the good ones, man. Brother from another mother. Boozer, you there? Lost Lake Camp, come in. Deke! It's good to hear from you, brother. How's it going? Yeah, it's, uh, everything's fine. Booze, man, it's, uh, I'm okay. Yeah? Bullshit. How long did we ride together? What's going on, brother? Uh, I, look, Sarah, it's a long story, but she's, she's part of the militia down here. She wants to come back with me, but... Now they, uh, they're forcing her to stay, booze man. They're not gonna let us leave. What the hell? Forcing you to stay? Jesus, D. Where are you? Okay, I'm gonna grab Iron Mike, uh, uh, Ricky, some men. Look, we'll find a way down there. We'll, we'll... 
Boozer, no. No, you don't understand. They got hundreds of men, and they are armed. Shit, they stole for the National Guard, the military, and the... the... I don't give a shit what they've got. We're gonna... Oh, God damn it! listen to me. You, we cannot let the Colonel, their leader, find out about Lost Lake. He's crazy, Boozer. Bad shit fucking crazy. The militia... They're attacking every camp that they come across. Drifters, squatters, campers, makes no difference to them. Oh, Jesus, D. Look, I got this. I got this figured out. Just if anything happens to me, if, if you don't hear from me again, then... Deke, I'm... I think you're gonna figure this out, like you said. Okay, you, you get Sarah, and you get her the hell out of there, you hear me? Yeah, booze man, I hear you. All right, that's more like it. Uh, uh, you're cutting out of the... I can't... Deke? Deke? I hear you, brother. I hear you, Deacon out. Uh, sir, I was... You know when I was young? We used to explore caves like these. Looking for petroglyphs, carvings by the Modoc, other tribes. Thousands of years old. You know, they never lived in these caves, the heathens. In the cold and the dark. But look at us. Look how far we have fallen. Colonel, Colonel, I, I was... The soldier who used to be assigned to Lieutenants Whitaker and Weaver, the soldier you replaced, has gone AWOL. He broke into my private chambers and took my personal copy of the Holy Bible. I want it returned. Yes, sir. I've marked his last known location on your map. Dismiss, Corporal. I have had... A revelation. Last night, a new group of recruits joined our ranks and have already been sworn in. They have traveled far, from the east, west, south, and north. They're coming to this place. At this time, is no accident. They bring word of more camps. Like the one to the south, which we have purged. Camps filled with degenerates, thieves, drug addicts, and murderers. We are threatened. All of us. Every day. We live in the shadow of death. But that shadow is not cast by rabid freaks that surround us. They are part of God's plan. Yes. They are part of God's punishment. Yes. Reach, Colonel. Yeah. Yeah. No. Yes. No. It is not the freaks who threaten to destroy us. No. No. It is our fellow man. Right on. Yes, sir. Like Noah before us. We have built an ark to save mankind. Yes, we have. Yeah. To save. All the knowledge, yeah. so when the, the flood waters recede, mm -hmm. we may rebuild. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, we built some. But in this build. age, here at the end of the world, God is not sending the oceans from their beds to rise up and sweep away the damned. No. There will be no baptism of water. Well, there won't. No. In this last age, we are the flood. Yeah. We are sent forth to baptize the world right. with fire. Yeah. Today, we begin a holy war against all those who have brought down the wrath of God. We will move north, seek out the depraved, and cleanse. Brian, this is Saint John, come in. Okay, I hope you're ready because we're doing this. We're doing this right now. Give me your coordinates. Done. Wait, where are you? Center of Crater Lake, Wizard Island, the militia camp. You disabled the RPGs? Ah, oh, shit, not yet. I'll get right on that. Radio me when you're ready. O'Brien out. Come on, you son of a bitch. That'll do it. I gotta get this arrow. Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker, come in. Damn it. 
Hang on, I'm coming. Can't you stand guard or do whatever it is you're doing out there? Colonel's orders. Gotta keep eyes on you at all times. Yeah, well, fuck the Colonel's orders. Hey, you watch your mouth. Things are changing around here. And if you don't follow the orders... <laughs> Make sure we're clear. We're good. You're clear. Okay. That's the plan. I need you to pack your stuff. We're leaving. How are we gonna get out of here? There are guards everywhere. Do you trust me? O'Brien. Well, I'm here. We're heading up to the cone. We got one shot at this. Copy that. O'Brien out. Who's O'Brien? Where are we going? Look, I don't have time to explain. You got everything? We're not coming back. Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go. Right, stay close. And if we see anyone... Hey. In case you didn't read my note. Wait, so who's O'Brien? How's he getting us out of here? I told you, O'Brien is how I found you. He was the Nero soldier who was there that night, the night that I put you on that chopper. Nero? Oh, come on, oh shit, to... Weaver! No, 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 that one. The canister. Right. Private! Are you paying attention? Eyes on your work, man! That canister, right there! Here we go. Up! I don't want to see that canister fall. Okay. Oh, we made it. Where is it? Where is he? Where is it, Ryan? Oh, he'll be here. He'll be here. We just, uh... Oh, need to... Gentlemen, this is the top of the cone where you can see we get an amazing view here. Oh, Lieutenant. I've just been giving this group of new recruits a tour of the island. Oh, we're just about to go down into the Ark. You should join us. Uh, well, uh, gentlemen, Colonel... this is Lieutenant Whitaker. She heads up part of the research team that's exploring ways to use poison to defeat our enemies. Traitor! Wait! Wait! Stay back! Get your chopper! Get your chopper! I was just Three, trying to tell you Don't that we were going on a supply He's a murderer ride. and a spy. Why would you, you listen to him over me? Remember that camp I told you about? You know I am not. like the leader of that camp, Lost Lake, oh, sent him here. Full of shit. I'm telling I'm, you. I've never even met this motherfucker. Colonel, you've got to believe me. Enough! All right. I'm listening. I am telling you, he is a spy. Matt, this guy's mm -hmm. crazy. You've never seen him before. Yeah. Lieutenant, he comes out of nowhere and you're going to believe him? What's that camp you're saying I'm from? You think I'm lying? What the fuck? Is that it? I'm not lying. Have him show us your back. Yeah. Huh? Show us enough, your back. Enough, enough! That's my last warning. Now we will get to the truth of this matter. Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Captain Khoury, I forget, is that the 8th or the 9th commandment? I don't rightly recall, sir. Tell me what you saw, and don't lie to me, son. I'll know. At Lost Lake Camp, he attacked a woman. What the fuck are Corporal! you talking? He wasn't wearing a shirt. Son of a bitch has a tattoo covering his back. It's some satanic shit. It's some kind of dog, a dead dog chewing through a chain or something, like it was nothing. I, I pulled him off her. He was drunk, and we fought like hell, but who knows what wouldn't have happened if I hadn't been there. You make him show us his back, and you will see who's lying. I'm sorry, Colonel. This shit is just so crazy. <clears throat> Turn him. <clears throat> you wear the image of Cerberus, the Hound of Hades. How fitting that you were discovered ascending from the underworld. But you are not Cerberus, are you? Deacon St. John. He's lying. You man. hide behind angelic names! Of the truth and is, clothe yourself in lies! He got kicked out you of the You are Judas! Son of a fool! And what about you, Lieutenant? How convenient that you were with the yeah. Drifter 
when the Nero helicopter came by. Colonel, I do not know what you're talking about. You were in a Nero camp that was overrun. How long have you been spying on us? How long? Matt, I promise I haven't been- More lies! I expect this from drifters. I expect men like him to betray me! What did the officer? Colonel! It was me! Uh, it was me! Colonel, I lied. If you look in my pocket, you're gonna find a radio. Because I called them. I called them and I lied. I lied to the lieutenant. I told her that uh, I needed her to help me check a shipment, but the truth is I just needed a hostage. Deacon St. John, Drifter, are you there? This is Nero. This is O'Brien, Drifter. I'm sorry. Corporal St. John is unavailable right now. Wait, who is this? Sometimes, in the search for truth, the blood of innocence is spilled. I'm sorry, my dear. Release Private uh, Sarkovsky, was it? Yeah. And Kuri, take this drifter to lockup. Tomorrow at 0700, he will stand trial, and he will hang. <laughs> Lieutenant, enough of this. We have work to do. Come. Tell me more about this Lost Lake camp. Yes, sir. Anything you want to know? Lieutenant, please. Come on, get up. Uh, oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Good. I thought I heard you breathing. <clears throat> Fuck you. That's what I want to hear. It means the shit hasn't broken you yet. <clears throat> okay. Why? Tat on your back. A dead dog chewing through its chains? <clears throat> Not something you see every day. <clears throat> I did some digging before we freed you. I was, um, I don't know, trying to make sense out of it. This was taken from the lieutenant when she came into the camp. My guess is, it's yours. Yeah, it's mine. And your wife's name? It ain't Beth. No, it ain't. And you've been out here all this time? Trying to find her? Yeah. You just asked me why. <laughs> Pretty simple, really. The way I figure it, any man who goes through God knows what to find his old lady does not deserve to die at the end of a rope. Boy, wait, wait, wait a second. You're, you're, you're helping me? Well, that, that just means you're all gonna hang. We're not going back. The colonel is batshit crazy. <sighs> Holy war, genocide, I mean, what the fuck is that? Yeah, well then, what's the plan? What are you gonna do? We're going east. Yeah. Hopefully we can make it to Reno. You should come with us. Nope. Well, you can't go back. The militia will shoot no, you on I'm sight. No, I'm not leaving without her. Uh, and I gotta ride north. I gotta warn Iron Mike. It's way too late for that now. <sighs> Why? Well, they spent all night clearing the Santiam Pass. What? A convoy rode out early this morning heading north. Oh, shit. Are you sure you don't want to come with us? Yeah, I'm sure. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Hey, uh, uh, Corey. 
When I told the colonel about my military service, I told him I hated every goddamn minute of it, but uh, maybe it wouldn't have been so bad if, if I'd served under someone like you. You know, maybe it's not too late. I gotta get back to Lost Lake. I gotta head north. I gotta save Boozer. Ricky and Iron Mike. And I, I, I can't save Sarah. I can't save Sarah, but I can save them. I'm sorry, Sarah. I'm sorry. I am not giving up. I'm gonna find a way. I'm gonna come back for you. I swear to God. I am coming back for you. I gotta head north. Take the uh, Sanium Highway. It's clear now. Yeah, that's fast. Who's are you there? Come back. Who's man? Come back. Deke, is that you? Yeah, move him in here, goddammit! Addy, get the wounded inside. Who's her? Deke, glad to hear you breathe, brother. We sure could use you about now. Get him inside! Move, damn it, move! Should look out! Come on, Boozer, I'm almost there. Uh, Schizo. Schizo. He's there, Boozer. He's coming for you. They're, they're coming in through the gate. Go, go! Let him come, DJ. Let him come. Boozer! Damn it! Ricky, Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ricky, Iron Mike, come in. Pulling out. They're on the run. We got him. We got him. Where's Schizo? Has anyone seen Schizo? We did it. Right man. on, yeah. dude. Go after him. Don't let him get away. Kill every goddamn one of them. Where the hell is Schizo? A bunch of us have been looking for him. No one's seen him. Hey, come on. We gotta go. Hey, don't worry. We're gonna find that asshole. <gasps> Deke, thank God. Come on. Ricky, what's going on? It's Iron Mike. He got shot. Hey, you lazy son of a bitch, I wanted to see if you wanted to go fishing. We got a camp to feed. <coughs> you found her? You found her? Your old lady? Yeah, Mike, she's right outside. She's here? Yeah. Yeah, look, I, uh, I couldn't have done this without your help. I want to meet her. Come for you. Help a gal to go through all that trouble. God, I got to know my look like that. Okay, okay, okay. Here, Mike. Here. Mike, I want you to take this. I don't want it. I don't want it. I got it. Here, Mike. Be careful. I was... I was wrong, Deke. No, no, no. We can keep this together, Mike. We just... You get back on your feet, you'll burn him. I was... I was wrong.
There's no easy way to say this. I'm right, Mike's dead. What? No, Mike's dead. Stop. We tried to stop Schizo when the militia were pulling out. Iron Mike being Iron Mike. I tried to reason with him and. Okay. Yeah, I... shut up! Shut up! This ain't no eulogy. Iron Mike wouldn't want that. I don't have time for this because. Because the men that we killed today. Well, there's more where that came from. A lot more. I've been to their camp, I've seen their army. And when they come back here, they're gonna slaughter each and every one of them. At least they're gonna try. Unless we hit them first. Hey! Hey, shut up! Shut up! Listen to him. Iron Mike trusted him, so you have to trust him! No, 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 I'm sorry. You know what? I can't do this. I'm not Iron Mike. I'm goddamn drunk. You're right. There's a road. No, I'm not fucking leaving. Look at me. Listen. All right. If I'm Boozer, tell me maybe like Kevin. Okay, so I found this in a survivalist bunker. Wait, this is... Yeah, yeah, we're gonna need a truck. Something big, something like a dub truck. And we're gonna fill it full of uh, fertilizer. nitrate? Yep. We're gonna mix it with 100 gallons of creosote. A fertilizer truck bomb. That's your plan. Oh, my God. Well, I should have turned this entire island into a fortress. I got civilians in the caves. You got the labor force and those considered unfit to serve in the survivor camp. And you got the armory and the garrison right by the main gate. We hit that, we tear out the heart of the colonel's militia. What about Sarah? Well, I mean, she's in the caves. That's what the colonel calls the Ark. But how, how do you know that they're not just going to kill everybody? Sarah, Sarah and everyone else. I, I don't, I don't, but I figure that the explosion will cause so much confusion and chaos that they're, I can go in, I can find her, I can get her out before they know what hit her. Look, this isn't about just Sarah anymore. The colonel has declared war on all of us, and he's got an army to back him up. Look, Iron Mike and the rest of them, they're just the first casualties in that war. <laughs> it's gonna be a short one unless we hit them first. <sighs> I didn't say it was a good plan. No, it's a really shitty one, You Nick. with me, brother? Oh, I wouldn't miss it. Okay. Well, we're not going to be able to do it alone. All right, okay, well, if anyone wants to join in, you hit him. You hit him at the south gate. Mm -hmm. Because when the explosion happens, all the militia, they're going to rush up toward the main gate. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to need some supplies. How's it coming? Back up. Hey, Deke. <sighs> hey. Uh, what's this? Oh, ask him. Well, truck's as big as a tank, right? Uh-huh. I figured. Might as well turn her into one. Holy shit. <laughs> uh, is this ready? Well, let's see, Deke. Time to fill her up. I know where to find some fertilizer. I'll radio when I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. No, it's a horde. It's a horde. I'm gonna have to clear this before Ricky can get in, or she's gonna pull them all down on us. Hey, Boozer, uh, tell Ricky it's, uh, it's gonna be a while because there's a horde feeding ground right in our way. 
me and Ricky to head out there? Come and help? No, no, no! I've already learned the hard way. It's better to take them on alone. That way we don't pull them down on each other. Yeah, yeah, okay. Besides, I mean, Ricky says that, uh, you're head of security now, right? So don't you gotta, I don't know, like, stick around camp, polish your badge, order people around, shit like that. Yeah, right. I forgot to ask Mike for a badge. I... Anyway, now that Mike's gone, I don't know, maybe they'll vote someone else in. Let me go back to pulling weeds. Not likely. Maybe those can off my nerves. all of them. Jesus. Uh, booze man. Are you there? It's clear. You can uh, have Ricky bring the truck over. Copy that. Hey, Deke. We got a surprise for you, brother. Oh. oh great. That's great. Can't wait. Deacon out. What the hell is that? Little gift from Ricky. Still can't ride a bike, but I can shift the hell out of these gears. Wow. I uh, pull it over there. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, God. That ought to be enough. All right. What's next? <sighs> Creosote, I'll ready you with you when I'm ready. Where the hell are we gonna get a hundred gallons of creosote? You don't want to know. Come on, get him inside. What happened? Got hit again. The squatters off the highway. We've got to get some men together, go after them. Look at me, it ain't my problem. They've got Manny. You sent Manny on a supply run. I just run the camp, D. I don't tell folks how to live their lives. Go to hell, Cope!
go. I found his bike. I'm gonna see if I can track him down. My men said they'd set up an ambush on the Sanium. Yeah, I already found it. Deacon out. I wasn't gonna let him kill you. Besides, who the hell is around here knows how to rebuild a carburetor? It's clear. I've been camping too long. Never saw nothing like that before. Yeah, okay. Let's uh, get the hell out of here. You don't gotta twist my arm on that one. Yeah, so what the hell happened? What were you doing out here? I don't know. I hadn't been on a run in months. Felt like maybe I wasn't, I don't know, doing my share, you know? A lot of assholes with guns out here, Manny. Not many know how to fix the shit that they ride around on. Yeah, yeah, that's what Cope said. Yeah, for once I agree with the son of a bitch. So what do you think? Why's it gotta be this way? Be what way? Everyone out here trying to kill everyone else. Manny, you know how many folks were locked up in prisons before the shit went down? I mean, here in the States... Uh, no idea. Two and a half million. You count the ones that are out on parole and probation, that's almost seven million. So, one in 35 was someone who didn't give a shit about the law. And those are just the ones that got caught. Shit. So the question isn't, why is it like this now? The question is, why wasn't it always like this? Because I'll be sticking to the camp from now on. It's probably a good idea. You good from here? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Deke? I owe you, man. I'd be dead right now if you hadn't... Manny. Nose down. Nose down. They feed you. Now get the hell out of here. This ought to be easy, right? I just gotta make sure I have enough uh, traps, ammo, molotovs, and anything else I can carry. Yeah, Ricky. Boozer just told me you're heading to the old sawmill. Uh, yeah, and Boozer has a big mouth. He is head of security. He has to tell me. You remember when I took you to the sawmill, right? You remember me showing you the horde that lives there? Oh, uh, yeah, I remember. The really big horde that lives, sleeps, and eats there. 
Uh, yeah, like I said, I remember. Uh, look, Ricky, when I was with the militia, they, uh, we, <laughs> we created a sort of souped up Molotov. A souped up Molotov? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's like napalm. Anyway, trust me, I got this. We need you, Deke, alive. Ricky, just be fine. You don't gotta worry about me no more, okay? I know what I'm doing. Ricky? Yeah, Deke. I'm, uh, just lighting some candles. Okay. And in, in this case, the big goddamn Molotov, you know, you get the idea.
more bounties. Holy shit, dude. Looks like I missed all the fun. Yeah. Next time, I drive the truck. You fight the freakers. Yeah, brother. Okay, just pull it over there. All right, you got it. <clears throat> Camp, I'll meet you there. <clears throat> All right. And, uh, booze man. Drive carefully. <laughs> what do you think? That I'm gonna blow myself up? <laughs> Looks like everything's set. Yeah. Rookie rigged this up for the steering wheel. We drive right up to the front door, jump, goodbye militia. Okay, well, you sure you want to do this? I mean, it's a long way to drive with only one arm. Asshole. Look, Boozer, you and I both know it's probably a one-way trip. Yeah. Then I won't have to drive back. Fuck yeah, I want this. Oh, but there's just one thing. A couple of bikers pull a dumbass stone like this. Just us. Yep. We're gonna do this or what? Goddamn stream. Looks like Ricky's coming after all. What's up, Deke? Nice jacket. Looks good on you. Ricky, Addy, I appreciate it, but Boozer and I, we, we got to take care of some stuff. Word gets around. Your speech touched more people than you thought, Deke. I told you, you can't do this alone. This, this is crazy. Oh, don't worry. They're not doing it for you. They're doing it for him. For Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Iron Mike! Oh, and I hope you don't mind. I sent word to some of your friends up north. <laughs> Once word got around that we were fighting back, couldn't keep him away. Go! <laughs> Got word you were planning a little road trip. To stop these malicious sons of bitches from coming in here telling us what to do. Since you've done so much for us, thought we'd come along. We'll be glad to have you. Manny, are you Deke? Nose down? Nose down, work hard, they feed you. Take you on damn fool errands, get your ass shot up. Man, you listen up. This no is way, a... no way. I'm staying out of this. You kidding me? The hot springs? Yep. I sent word to Alki. Oh, Alki. Tucker sends word that uh, she couldn't make it to the fight, but wishes she could be here. <laughs> yeah, I'll bet. We, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for your help. We're here to return the favor. All right. Okay, well, you guys ready to kick some militia ass? Yeah! We're ready to ride. All right, listen up. The plan is simple. Boozer and I are gonna hit the north gate, we're gonna blow it to hell. Now that's gonna pull everyone at the south gate, 
Now what you gotta do is just follow Ricky. Yeah? Are we ready? We need to. Are we ready? Listen, I'm gonna radio when we hit the bridge. Don't go in until that. Okay. All right! Let's do this! God damn it, loser! Oh God damn it! My leg! My leg! Someone help me! Please. I am going to kill every goddamn one of you! Both the hell? God damn it. You hear that? Oh, hurry up. There. It's good to go. How many is that? Enough. Let's get back to the colonel. Come on. Chuck 
Captain Sarkozy, reporting in. We... Come on, Lieutenant. Where's that goddamn detonator? Fuck you, man. I ain't getting strapped in here. We... Come on, you know we follow orders. That's how it has to be. Where the fuck is it? Where's the goddamn thing? Skizzle, you better Give let it him go. Me. I don't know what you're talking about. Son of a bitch! I'm gonna kill you with my bare hands. You got that? No! No! Something schizo. There was a time when I would have uh, dragged you out into the shit. And I would have left you to the freaks. But hey, 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 hey. I'm not gonna do that. You wanna know why? Because they would tear you limb from limb. But you know what? They wouldn't enjoy it. <laughs> I saw something. A, a month ago, maybe. I, I felt something. Something I, I hadn't felt in a long time. And, um, and I know that a lot of you might have, might have felt the same way. And I, I think that if we just can... Deacon? I'll have your side on. It's all over. Your militia is done. Would you like some tea? I'm sure you would. Sarah, would you pour the drifter a cup of tea? The Ark was our only hope. You realize that, of course. When the world was cleansed, it was the only thing would allow us to rebuild. Everything was here, protected, saved by the grace of God. <laughs> we never did find someone to play the piano, though, did we? <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter now. When all this is gone, there'll be nobody left to hear the music. You've destroyed us. You destroyed everything we worked for. No, Colonel, you did when you started this holy war. You know, given the choice between you and the freaks, I'm gonna have to go with them, because at least when they kill, they're just looking for a meal, and they don't kill unarmed women. No! <laughs>
Uh, could you set up a triage tent over there? Hey! Hey, there's a cave entrance over there. You'll find supplies and bandages. Get some men. Go. You, you, let's go. Ricky! Patty. <sighs> Does anyone hear me? I can help. I'm a doctor. <sighs> it's over. Everyone that wasn't killed or wounded by the blast pretty much just gave up. Where is Boozer? Move it. Ricky, I need attack. some help over here. The north gate. The south gate. Boo. Ricky. Yeah. Can anyone hear me? What do you need help with? Hey. Hope you save some for me. Boozer. Sorry, I'm late. No. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I jumped. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Just you were... before I ran out of bridge. I saw yeah. the truck. No, no, no. I felt the blast wave. Even under 10 feet of water. Now, that was a ride. <laughs> <laughs> what? You didn't think I'd blow myself up, did you? Then who'd be around to bust your balls? I would. <laughs> hey! Oh! Hey. Little sister. Oh. Yeah, yeah, long story. <laughs> so, um, I hear someone's been looking for you. What? <laughs> kind of wouldn't shut up about it. Yeah, don't listen to him. It was really <laughs> more his idea oh, than... Ricky! Eddie! Which one of you is driving me out of this shithole? <laughs> It's all yours, brother. So I hear that you're staying on to rebuild. Not all the colonel's ideas were bad. Just the batch of crazy ones. You're the second person to tell me that. Who else? Corey? You know what? Fuck that dude. Hey. He left us here to rot. If it wasn't for him, we'd all be dead. Whatever, man. And I think we'll try this again without all the army man bullshit. <laughs> hey. You're gonna miss my speech. Nah, I wouldn't say I'm gonna miss it. Deke, hell of a fight. Yeah, that it was. Manny, oh shit, look who's still breathing. Nose down. Nose down. You put on your face that way. <laughs> Not bad for a drifter. Brother, we did it. You did it. Ah, man, you know, I gotta uh, admit for a second there, I thought that you were, um... Gonna blow myself up? I told you I got shit to do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, Give him hell, brother. Yeah, here it goes. Chuck would be proud. did it. We did it. <laughs> See? Good things happen when you stop and light a candle. Well, this is sort of more of a bonfire, but yeah. <laughs> Never seen you give a speech before. Oh, come on. It ain't gonna be a speech. Okay. Ma'am. Oh, shit. That's enough of that. Uh, 
What does it mean that they're all getting quiet? Oh, yeah, they're waiting for you. God. It's your cue. Son of <sighs> I know we got a lot of rebuilding to do, so I'm gonna keep this short. Look, I'm not a leader. No, I don't care what you say, I'm not. But, um, you've done something here today. We've done something. We banded together to fight. Uh, not because some asshole told us to, but because it was the right thing to do. And you know what? We won. Yeah, I've seen you struggle to rebuild. I've seen you fight to save lives, to keep people safe, keep people fed. I've seen you sacrifice everything that you have, everything that you are, make the world a better place. And see, that's why we're still here. That's why we're still here. Because if we don't have hope for a better life, or for a future that matters. Yeah. Yeah. What the hell are we fighting for? Yeah. You know, Iron Mike, he, um, he once said to me that, that we make the world what it is by what we do. Hell yeah. Huh? What did we do? Huh? What are we going to do? See this? This is the first step. I thought you weren't going to do a speech. Yeah, I screwed up. Uh, how the hell was it? You know, it was, it was all right for an outlaw biker. Outlaw biker, huh? <laughs> Are you ready to ride? Old lady? I don't know, depends. Where are we going? Wherever the hell we want. Hey, Deacon. Hattie carved it herself. It's beautiful, right? Thanks. Yeah, it was a piece of redwood that Mike kept in his room. He once told me that when things settled down, he was going to make something out of it, like a <laughs> cribbage board. Wait, a what? A, he doesn't play cribbage. Mm. Iron Mike played cribbage. <laughs> no, no, but that's the point, that there'd come a day when something like that mattered again. Well... Oh, what does it say? Yeah, don't look at me. I just carved it. It's a, it's an old Hindu proverb. My mother taught it to me. It reads, rivers do not drink their own water, trees do not eat their own fruit, and clouds do not swallow their own rain. What great ones have is always for the benefit of others. What do you think? Well, coming from you, I think that would have meant a lot to him. Yeah. Yeah, I think if Mike were here, he would probably say something like, what the hell does that even mean? <laughs> huh? Come on. Yeah. No, you're right. <laughs> he would have said, what the hell does that mean? Followed by, what the hell are you doing standing around here? The world ain't going to save itself. God damn it. Get right. to work. You're right again. Come on, guys. Let's get to work. <sighs> Oh, did I ever tell you about the time that Iron Mike 
saw Addie and I for the first time at the lodge in front of the fireplace. Oh, this is funny. <laughs> okay, so we were tangled up. No, 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 no. We were all okay. up in it. What? Addie, uh, uh, why? For the first time, and Iron Mike comes out and he looks at us. You don't have to tell us. me this. You can stop. He had that grin on his face. I'm not gr- You're such a perv, oh, Addie. I'm tired. I'm tired, you too. Hey! We got a goddamn ripper here! Turn around! I'm not a ripper! Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa! Hold up, hold up, hold up. I know her. Uh, put that away. I got this. Okay, take care of her. Not my problem. Is, is this your ride? It's a piece of shit, but it runs. Uh, well, I don't know if you're sticking around, but I could have Ricky take a look at it. I brought some bounties to trade. Okay. Then, uh, I should probably introduce you to Joe Haslin. He's the bounty collector. He's right up this way. I'm not staying. I'm not staying in a goddamn camp. Yeah, do whatever you want. You know, while you're here, uh, I'd like to introduce you uh, to someone. Her name is Sarah. She had a kid sister that, um, well, her kid sister reminds me of you, so I thought that maybe you would like her. I had a sister. She was older than me. How pain in my ass. Kind of reminds me of my older brother, Boozer. Real pain in my ass. Actually, he's not my brother. Um, we rode together in the MC. And he's the head of security around here, so you should probably meet him too. I told you I'm not staying. And I heard you. Seriously, do whatever you want. So what kind of gun you got there? Are you making sure that you ride out with plenty of ammo? Yeah, I got enough. I'm good. Yeah. I always rather had to work at that. St. John, are you there? Oh, Brian. What? Why are you on this channel? We tried contacting you on our channel. Well, I lost the radio the night that shit went down. Did she make it out? Your wife? <sighs> Yeah, no thanks to you. I'm glad. There's something that I have to tell you. So talk. In person. Nah, I don't think so. It's important. <sighs> Shit. In the Northern Cascades, there's an old pioneer cemetery. Yeah, okay. I know the one. Meet me there. Please. Well, I can't say I expected to hear from you again. What is it this time? Believe me or not, I'm glad to see you again. That night at Wizard Island didn't seem to go well. What can I do for you, O'Brien? I'm here to warn you. Warn me? Warn me about what? You remember? I told you the infected were evolving. Right, yeah, freaks are freak. What the hell do I care? <laughs> The strain of the virus, its effects on the human nervous and lymphatic systems is accelerating at an exponential rate. <laughs> they knew all along, of course, that it was happening. The men above me, that's why they were so cautious, so secretive. Sorry. There's nothing you can do to stop them. There's nothing anyone can do.
What the fuck? 